greetings, one and all, everybody. Welcome to a very, very special event. I am uh, one of your hosts, Penny Parker, at Snaps Cube. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight here. You know what? Before we get into proper introductions, uh, let me pull my co-host in here. What's up? Hey, gamers. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Uh, I'm ready to find out who the asshole is. Oh, we're going to find out uh, about, I want to say, like, nine, nine or ten assholes. Um, and it's going to be, it's going to be great. So, hi, yes, welcome to r slash am I the asshole smackdown. Uh, this is a stream idea that I've had for a little bit now that I'm very excited to do. Um, and essentially, the agenda tonight is we are going to be taking just just a bunch of r slash am I the asshole posts. If you don't know, r slash am I the asshole is a subreddit on reddit.com, uh, the website for smart people, where uh, anyone can go and post about their interpersonal uh, squabbles and spats and get uh, let's uh, let's just let's just for courtesy say unbiased opinion um, on who is in the moral right and who is in the moral wrong in these given situations, uh, or colloquially known as being the asshole. Um, and so, but 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 the problem is that you know I say it's quote unbiased, but it's it's really not. It's really not when you think about it. It it all comes down to you know like. Your own personal perspective when when you're when you're commenting these responses and you're telling people about where they stand morally you got to also factor that like you you got your own biases you know you're you're telling people from your perspective and sure that's valuable sometimes but when we're trying to figure out the absolute epitome of morality and the the absolute answer the 100 percent correct solution um it's violence you got, yeah you gotta yeah, solve that you gotta figure that out with violence exactly exactly you know they say violence is never the answer i say violence is the question and the answer is yes it is the it is the only way we can uh truly 100 determine uh who is in the right in any of these given situations so we will be so we basically, we have a whole roster of fun little characters created to represent, oh my god, holy shit. We got another, okay, so in the pre-stream, we got an anonymous uh, 20 tier one sub gifter, which by the way, I totally forgot to thank you out loud. Uh, thank you so much, and also we just got another one, and the notifications are coming in like crazy, thank you so much that is insane uh i really really appreciate that um but anyway anyway so we we got we got a whole roster of characters and we are going to simulate these quarrels through uh entirely cpu driven wwe 2k battles i need to maybe like turn the alert sound off because like it's just gonna <laughs> keep like running through i i'm honored all the support truly like it it means a ton thank you i don't know how to thank y'all enough um but uh yeah so it's gonna be entirely cpu run pat and i are just gonna be watching uh and speaking of uh pat would you like to introduce yourself talk and talk a little bit about your history uh with with wrestling and that kind of stuff or whatever kind of introduction yeah. you want to give yeah sure uh I, boy, whew, uh, uh, good start. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I like pro wrestling. It's, it's, it, there was a period of time where it occupied probably like 75% of my brain at any given time. It's that part of my brain has gotten quieter, but I still know so much about wrestling that I'll never be able to stop knowing. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here and I'm, I'm ready. The, the, the great thing about pro wrestling is it, um, 
uh, condenses a, a a complicated world uh, to a very simple world where winning means you're right, right, uh, and losing means that uh, that you're wrong, that, that that you're a piece of shit and an idiot, and you should <laughs> get out of our sight. Which uh, is exactly what we're doing, you know. We're we're, we're applying this objectivity to these just like crazy, uh, you know, nuanced situations. And I think that that can only turn out well. Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, the thing that I'm always saying on the computer is, is you know, nuance <laughs> is, is trash and for idiots. Right. Uh, uh, I, you know, the world is, is black and white. Uh, th and yeah, I, I don't know, I, I prescribe to the, the, uh, the Sith mindset. I think I've, I think I've heard you might want to talk to your doctor about something called color blindness. Um, Have you heard of that? No. I, it, no I, yes. Uh, I don't think that's what I. I, I think what I have is uh, the opposite of color blindness. It's absolute moral clarity. Okay. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, God, I'm so, I'm so excited for this because I know. here's the thing about uh, Am I the Asshole is. The moment you make a post on that site, you are the asshole, <laughs> right? Like, like it's, if the yeah, jury that basically. you're dragging your loved ones and friends in front of is Reddit, is Reddit of all places, you are the asshole. <laughs> like, you can make an argument that, like, you know, broadcasting that shit on the internet in general is its own kind of like mark of doom, but like Reddit of yeah. all places. <laughs> <laughs> These um, are the guys you're calling for backup. <laughs> I know, but it's but it's so entertaining is the problem. I can't get enough of it. Uh, so here, let me screen share my little my setup we got going on here. Let me see. Can oh, you... that'd be great. Cool. That's that's yeah, pure I'm... white. Wow, that's not what it's supposed to look. like. Oh, there like. we go. There we go. I think that happens when I have. Oh no, it's just all fixed now. Uh, if that happens again, let me know. Um. Hopefully it shouldn't. Uh, okay, so we got a lot of ground to cover. Like I said, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have, so we have nine total matches here. Um, and admittedly, I wanted to have more and I feel a little bad that I, I couldn't get more in, but two things. One, major procrastinator, real problem. Two, <laughs> uh, WWE 2K22, which is where we'll be simulating these uh, these matches, um, is so slow. <laughs> the character creator, every time you go to a new menu, it takes like, I'm not kidding, like five seconds to load before you're able to like interact with or change anything, at least on PlayStation, which is what I'm using. So, um, so we got nine uh, and they're dumb as shit and I'm very <laughs> excited. Um, let me see, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so uh, before we start, I do, you you may notice uh, in the lower middle section there of, of the stream screen, uh, I have a handy little hashtag. So if you wanna tweet about this event or you wanna, if you wanna share like fan art and stuff, we would love to see it. And if you wanna put it in a place where like you're certain we will see it, uh, post it in hashtag uh, Ida Smack, which is how I'm pronouncing it, uh, A-I-T-A Smack. Uh, if you wanna, yeah, if you wanna post any, I don't know, like fan art or, or posts or just opinions, uh, anything at all. Um, and also, I am going to be, uh, if I can remember to do so, because I've never done this before, um, I'm going to be running, uh, channel point predictions Ooh. for each of these fights. So if you want nice. to, if you want to bet some channel points that you've accumulated over, over the stream or over my streams prior, um you can do so yeah we love gambling around here uh that's such a good idea and, and the audience loves gambling too like like yeah it's, let them let them do it in a in a harmless way so. the ultimate sin gambling uh that's oh yeah i caught some of the uh yes the shadow i, I caught some of the new fan dub yes uh -huh. I'm, I'm glad you're finally uh you're, you're finally taking those gamblers down uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just just blasting them on 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 one of my larger platforms. It's it's been a long time coming. Okay. I I literally cannot wait any longer. Um oh, actually I can cuz one more thing, Pat. So I'm going to be playing uh 
some of that Yakuza music I was playing in the pre-stream. I'm going to be playing that during cool. the matches. Um, I don't think there's any way for me to share that to you. So if you want to, like, uh, fill the space on your own end with music, feel free. There's not going to be I'll any. Pull it up on Spotify. In the footage. Um, otherwise, yeah. So, okay. Here's how we're going to do this. Before every match, we're going to read through the uh, the related Am I the Asshole post. Um, I was thinking we could alternate uh, reading duties, if that's... Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then from there, we can either take a second to just, like, commentate over it, or we can totally leave it up. Like, any commentary we can leave up to the objective uh, atmosphere of the match itself. Um, I see what you're saying. In terms of uh, applying narrative to this. Right, right. Okay, um, yeah. Well, because obviously, you know, they'll come with their own narratives, but like... Yeah. I well, think... how about this? L let me throw a little something at you. Okay. Uh, typically in pro wrestling, when you have a team, which we are, we're a team now, because you invited me on here. Hell when yeah. you have a team of commentators, uh, they split into two roles, play-by-play -play and uh, color. Okay. Uh, the role of play-by-play -play is to... Uh, let people know what the names of the maneuvers are, uh, you know, how the technical flow of the match is going. And Color, uh, their job is to sort of let people know about the history and the story of the match. Oh, shit. That's actually perfect because I don't know fuck all about wrestling. That's okay. <laughs> that's why I got you here, bud. I don't know anything about yeah. what I'm looking at. However, occasionally I will guess at what I think is a pile driver, and I want you to tell me if I'm wrong. Or okay, not. wonderful. But don't. All right, cool. Yeah, never explain what it actually is, but occasionally, um, I'll throw it out. I'll throw that out there, and uh, we'll see how long it takes me to get it. <laughs> um, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, without further ado. Let's get let's get this first post uh, going. You want to do the honors of reading this first one? Yeah, I'll take the first one. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Drop that Chatteroonie. Okay, am I the asshole for telling my date that he shouldn't call himself a Harvard alumnus? <laughs> okay. I laughed when you. This was one you suggested when you sent it to me. I laughed so hard in real life. It's the title is uh, so good. <clears throat> so I, 25F, matched with a guy who had Harvard alum in his bio. Oh, really quick. Sorry to interrupt. I need to... Oh, uh, yes, go ahead. So general am I the asshole lingo if you're not familiar. When someone says something like 25F or 30F or like 28M, that generally means their age followed by what gender they present as. So 25F in this case would mean 25 female. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and W is wizard so if you see like you know ageless w <laughs> right ageless right wizard. exclamation point wizard spells in chat please thank you uh okay so i 25f matched with a guy who said who had harvard alum in his bio there aren't too many of those in my small midwestern city so i suggested that we grab some coffee <clears throat> the date started off wonderfully we had we sh <clears throat> pardon me the no date started off wonderfully we had many shared interests and spent a good 30 minutes talking about them. I started talking about my amazing undergraduate experience at Harvard and asked him what he concentrated in. He gave me a blank stare. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, after a moment, he said, Oh, I finished a web dev certificate from an extension program. After some Googling, I discovered that anyone can finish the web dev certificate by paying a $6,000 fee and taking three online courses. I then asked him, why are you calling yourself a Harvard alumnus? When people hear Bobby went to Harvard, they assume that Bobby has an actual degree from Harvard, not some certificate that holds no real weight. So we know his name is wow. Bobby. Uh, or this could be a hypothetical Bobby, but we can right. choose whether or not we want to call him Bobby. Uh, oh, I've chosen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Believe you me. Anyway, my date got up and left, but not before he said, this is why most people can't stand people like you. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> I've gone oh. over our conversation multiple times, yet I can't see where I said anything wrong. Oh, f- yeah, Shit. sure. Yeah, yeah I, okay. I'm sorry. No, see, I'm, 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 being, I'm not being impartial. I'm not being impartial. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think, it's, I think it's okay if we're a little impartial just as, okay. well, may, maybe not as commentators. Who knows? Um, God. I just don't know what I possibly could have said that would upset this man. <laughs> I love yeah, someone in the someone in the comments pointed out the way she describes it. She's going over this and you you realize if you look over the the exact sequence of like of events here, she hears that he's a Harvard alum. Yeah, uh, alumnus, alumni? I don't know. Uh no everything uh, normal so far. Yeah, that, that that's okay. <laughs> it's, it's 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 okay to hear that about somebody, but what happens next? Right. Man? Right. He says Oh, I did a, a web development, uh, uh, the web development certificate from the extension program. And then she says, after some Googling, meaning during the date, she is sitting there Googling the specifics of what is this web development certificate? What's this fucking thing of the future that I've never heard? This is, this is crazy. A Instead of like- $6,000? <laughs> Like you, you just pay six thousand dollars and you get in. That's fucking nothing. Um, and yeah, and so instead of connecting with this person, she's so okay. I think it's clear what we think um, about the scenario. But uh, I mean, but, I'm I, mean sorry? I think that's this is why uh, it's important that we've already established that what we think doesn't matter. What matters is who wins. Right, exactly. Yes, the, like we we have no. I just intent unintentionally said yes, which is great. Um, <laughs> we <laughs> we uh, we obviously we have our biases, and this this is what I was talking about at the beginning. But that's why we're putting this in the computer, the 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 all the all perfect, the spotless moral high ground of the computer world. Um, so uh, I think we should get a table match going. Mm, um, yeah, because they, they were drinking coffees at the table. Yeah, so here's so here's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to set up this match really quick. Uh, this is a one-on-one, -on -one, so this shouldn't take too long. Um, and I'm going to I'm gonna do that before showing you the game screen uh, cool. because I don't want to spoil any of the other characters. <laughs> Lovely, can't wait. Um, okay. Yeah, go, go ahead and take your time. So Harvard alum. Harvard alum. And do we got any Harvard alums in the chat? Please sound off if you are a Harvard alum. Give people some time to respond there. Hang on. We have one. Hang on. Now, hang on. <laughs> I'm, see I'm seeing multiple people saying yes. Is that true? It's like weirdly not letting me pick a second um, custom character. Hold on. Might be a bug. Yeah. Um. Also, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> is that is that so? Huh. There we go. Okay. Yeah. It was a it was a glitch. Okay. Um. All right. I got the match pulled up. Uh, this, is <laughs> this is a table match between Bobby tomorrow. And the studious, oh uh, Bobby Tomorrow, God. of course, being uh, this this kid of the newfangled web development generation, only mm. has to pay six thousand dollars to get into Harvard. <laughs> yeah, he he paid three bitcoins. Right. And <laughs> Jonathan Harvard said, "Here you go. Here's your Here degree. you go. <laughs> okay." Let's here's your here's it. your degree in websites. All right, let's see. How I'm gonna goes. I'm gonna keep entrances on for now. If we ever get entirely sick of them, I can turn them on. <laughs> As a uh, longtime pro wrestling watcher, I got to tell you, the, the entrances are eighty percent of the the whole thing. M my only thing is with two K twenty two specifically, they legitimately only give you like four or five entrances you can pick for any. Oh, weird. One custom yeah, okay. character, so it's like. You see the same ones pretty frequently. It's a hell it's a hell in a cell arena, but it's a table match. <laughs> it's a, but it's also the, the COVID safe audience where it's just oh, people shit, on screen. Oh shit, I forgot to turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be right, seeing Bobby some tomorrow. real ass zoom faces around here. Um his entrance. Oh, oh let that. me get my fight playlist going. 
Getting the crowd worked up. Fuck yeah. That's go Bobby, right there. Bobby Tomorrow coming in. He said, I've seen the future. I've seen a better way. Mm -hmm. And oh, I'm ready what? to show it to you. You applied to go to Harvard? I'm sorry. You, what? Uh, your student loans are how much? <laughs> No, I'm, talk no, I'm no, talking no, no, a no. small flat rate down payment on a car level, baby. Oh. <laughs> a little sassiness, too. <laughs> yes. I can't with the faces. It's, it's so eerie. But hey, you know what? This also kind of fits because this is almost in a way. Here comes. So here comes the studious. She has her values, you know, she, sh her whole MO is, you know, reject modernity, embrace tradition, that kind of thing. Um, she is all about the classic, go to college, pay $50,000 and get a standard degree. Um, but here, even in the arena she fights in, she can't help but notice the future is around her. The future is in front of her face. She can't fight the future or can she? And that's what we're here to see. <laughs> Warming up in the corner there. Uh, so do you want to... Educated hands, go ahead. For those who are maybe not familiar, do you want to uh, explain maybe the, the quick summary of what a table match entails? Sure, yeah, I forgot. We're starting off with a non-standard match type. So in a table match, uh, neither opponent can win by pinfall or submission uh, or TKO. The only way to bring this match to completion is to put your opponent through a wooden table. Uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes the rules get a little bit hazy there, you know, because sometimes you need to go through the table with them. In right. general, the person who goes through the table first is the person who loses. Right. In this case, the table representing uh, the sort of... Uh meeting place of their date and the place really where everything went wrong to begin with, where mm. this rift between them was sort of first driven. Ooh, and um, Studious uh, showing her knowledge of human anatomy, maybe uh, that she had to pick up in some- Oh, she's coming in with the pile driver. At Harvard. Oh, and uh, Penny, good try, not quite. I'll let you know when oh, you get shit. it. shit. Okay, all right. Oh, Tilt-A-Whirl DDT from Bobby. They're wrenching oh, the shoulder, shit. wrenching the shoulder, and working over the wrist. Brutal. Saying, uh, Bobby, perhaps oh. with some knowledge of. Uh, oh, okay. So Bobby is setting up the table, or at least trying to. He's <laughs> getting it, getting it his way. Oh, rear waist lock. Oh shit! And the oh, leg no. punch suplex onto the table. Oh, I forgot to run bets. Oh, God, let me do that really quick. Manage prediction. Any knowledge uh, that Studious had is just running out of her ear right now after that. Oh, oh, flex. oh, thank God. Alexa, you are an absolute uh, genius. Thank you so much for running that for me. Alexa has run thank the prediction, so if you want to uh, send in your channel points, if you haven't already, do that now. If it's still going, or actually, no, it's still going. Oh, Bobby... Slickly sliding behind, much like he slid around the uh, entrance procedures for Harvard to attain his certificate. <laughs> I've just noticed we now have two tables in the ring. Um, yeah. Sort of a, a, a big increase in risk there. Pretty soon the entire floor will in fact be tables, and at that point, it's Oh anyone's my game. god. Lariat turns Bobby inside out. Oh, Bobby just oh. taking a moment to reflect there. Crawling for the ropes, perhaps. Big forearm starches him across the jaw. It... Judeus. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, well, I was just going to say, she she does seem very upset about about the uh, the sort of atrocities that, that she is... that she believes has been committed. Um, yeah, and... And she's been, she's educated. She's methodical. She's been controlling right. the pace here, uh, like she has the syllabus for this match already. Oh, <laughs> snake eyes onto the middle turnbuckle. Say what you will, but groups. she very much has a clear passion for education. She has a clear passion for uh, being a contributing member of society. <laughs> right. 
Web oh. development. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Wow. My god, wow. She's not the asshole. Holy shit. Dudius is not the asshole. Holy the shit. The future. The future has kept that bay once more. Wow. That that's a genuine shock. I was not expecting that. And I, I guess this is the part of that this part of this that's really hard is the part where we have to admit that she's not the asshole. I know, yeah, we have to find some way to <laughs> But it when was you, a lackluster match. You, you all things here, considered. Chat, if you uh make a social greed or a social uh meetup with somebody specifically because you care about their educational accolades and then uh, yell at them when they weren't exactly telling the truth, you're, you're cool. Yeah, you're not the asshole. The, the asshole really, uh, really are, the assholes are those who try to uh, progress society before it's ready, you know? Mm -hmm. Ev everything in its time, and now is not the time for web development certificates. What are we even doing? Yeah, yeah I still think that counts as an alum. I, in actuality, uh, yes, I do too. <laughs> I think I think I'd have to Google alum, alumnus, and see what the actual definitions are. If that's tied specifically to bachelor's degrees, anyways, no, I gotta put I gotta put this aside. Uh, she is not the asshole. Uh, he was the asshole. <sighs> All right. Uh, how do I? So, oh, okay. So, I am very sorry to the forty-five percent. It was nearly half of people who uh it it really was nearly entirely split between uh bobby bobby tomorrow and uh the studious uh but studious did come out on top and unfortunately that means 45 percent of you lost your channel points i apologize but that's okay there will be plenty of more chances in the near future speaking of let's set up the next one all right i'm feeling uh, very good about this so far. <laughs> that was very fun to watch. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, um, I walked around <laughs> Harvard once. It was it was boring. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's like I don't know. Like it's it's weird when a college becomes a a tourist attraction because it's still just a college, right? <laughs> they don't like add anything else to look at. It's just yeah. There's like, no like. Around. It's too much learning. You know, there's not enough, like, yeah. video games in Pac-Man. Yeah, where's, the, I think. you know, where's the titillation? Where's the, <laughs> where's the spectacle? Exactly, right. Um, <laughs> where, where's the stuff that appeals to my Gen Z sensibilities? Uh, okay, so, quick question for chat uh, before we move on. How are audio levels sounding? Was all of that generally parsable? Do I need to adjust anything? This is the perfect time to let me know. Audio is great, pretty good, it's all right, it's all balanced well, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Path louder. Are you saying I am louder or you need me louder? I think they're saying you need to be a little bit louder. Okay. I can try to speak up a little bit. I tend to, to, to mumble and be quiet, but I'm also- No worries, probably... yeah. I mean, okay. yeah, do, do whatever you, do whatever you're comfortable with. I can also, on my end, bump you up just a tad, which I have uh, just done. Groovy. <clears throat> Groovy. Uh, so, all right, this next one, <laughs> this next one I'm very excited about. Um, I'm going to uh, read this out. I also will send you the link uh, just for just for following along. Um, let's do this. All right. Am I the asshole for not letting my dad taste my steak? <laughs> now, the fun part is that... <laughs> <laughs> the fun part, the fun part <laughs> is that Reddit uh, consensus seems to be that this post does not have enough info, which oh. personally I disagree with. I think there's plenty. Cause let, cause get this. Am I the asshole for not letting my dad taste my steak? We were at the restaurant and he ordered fish and I ordered steak. Once I was halfway done with my steak, he asked if he could get a bite. I refused, saying that in a restaurant, passing food to others is considered rude and impolite, and I told him that he should order the steak next time we come by. He then started this whole debate about how, quote, we won't go on vacation now because you did that. And <laughs> I, quote, I hope you enjoy having your own room, 
parenthetical, we're in a hotel because it won't last long, etc. Unquote. Am I the asshole? I honestly feel like I was in the right to deny my dad a bite. <laughs> Again, I think there's plenty to pardon the pun chew on here in this post. Um, ooh, clearly. <laughs> okay, so this let's world is full on. of very uh, insane people. Let's chew this slowly. Uh, right. What pieces of information do you feel are missing here? So, personally, well, if, like, if, if we're talking, like, how much info do I need to determine who's being an asshole? Like, I think I got enough. And even, and especially within the parameters of r slash am I the asshole, because it's never just a, like, a binary decision. They have, like, uh, they have uh, consensus such as like everybody sucks here or no assholes here <clears throat> yeah. and in this case i think there is enough easily to uh to fall upon uh, either an everybody sucks here or a not the asshole which i think personally i fall towards the not the asshole because this is clear this kid is clearly like 14 <laughs> like 14 or 15 like okay just, yeah that's a good point yeah the cadence of the post and like the the way in in which it's like described and the situation itself like this really honestly seems like just like a kid who like wanted to eat all of his steak and yeah maybe he didn't pay for it maybe he's not being like super reasonable but like at the same time <laughs> this is like a grown ass man not getting a <laughs> bite of steak and saying, now we're not going to go on vacation. <laughs> Which is like <laughs> possibly the funniest thing okay, I've ever yeah, heard in my no, life. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But I don't know. Uh, I mean, where, where, where did you initially fall down? I want to. It's it, This one is really hard because as it goes on the asshole shifts right, right. like <laughs> right. like exactly because at first it's like why would you not just give that come on just give him a bite yeah. it's just one bite and then it, if i was at applebee's with my daddy and he said give me a touch of the steak please i'd say yeah no problem pops and i I'd, think I'd you buy him some steak you would be the asshole for giving your dad applebee's steak though well i mean i, I didn't decide where we're eating you know? <laughs> true yeah. Oh, I'm sorry for being so aggressive. It's um, okay. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll, no, we'll class it up a bit. We'll class it up. Uh, Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go. Texas Roadhouse, baby. Um, um, yeah, but but then the moment that... Yeah, God, no, yeah. The, the moment, the moment it becomes no, blackmail. <laughs> like, yeah. It becomes like it an becomes ultimatum. Emotional blackmail. <laughs> <laughs> But and, and it's not just it's not just like punitive emotional blackmail. It's ominous and the, like, I know. The, it's, that it's won't not, it's last not even long. Like, yeah, it's not even like I'm taking your GameCube away. It's like the, I was planning this really fun trip that you couldn't even conceive of, and now you're not gonna get it. How does that feel? <laughs> yeah, it's like it's uh, it's you don't give him the steak, and he's like, ah, uh, uh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. <laughs> And it's gonna be soon. Yeah, I'm not gonna be around it's forever. It's gonna be real kid. soon. <laughs> All those days Jesus. I picked you up from school, I changed your diapers, kid, and you won't give me this steak. <laughs> but <laughs> all, all that aside, there's still, there's still, unfortunately, if I may be so bold, to say that there's a chance this dad could come out on top. <laughs> yeah, because that's true. We're doing a we're doing a TLC match, baby. Yeah, and this um, is uh, where we gotta ask yourself: Could you beat your own dad in a ladder <laughs> match? I know, yeah, father and son, uh, uh, one on one, mano a mano, battle of the blood. Um, let's see. Let me get this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh. This, this is what we're looking at here. <laughs> oh. Steak stingy uh. versus hungry hungry. Um, 
Very, very simple. Very simple matchup. I'm excited to see. Uh, let's get a... Let's get another per, uh, another prediction run in. Um, Sorry, is, is dad wearing a bib or is that just the shirt under his jacket? <laughs> That's, so it's supposed to be a bib. It's like an ascot, but it was the closest <laughs> thing I could find to a bib. <laughs> so I just I just put like some schmutz on it to kind of like cool. give it that give it that vibe. Um, yeah. Who is not the S the or I'll, for Twitch purposes I'll do a hole again. It's not the a hole out out. Uh, outcome one, stake sting stingy versus hungry, hungry. <clears throat> Submission period is going to be uh, one minute. Uh, start your predictions now. Also, uh, I don't know what I was worried about uh, in terms of this stream not being sufficiently long because we're already almost an hour in. <laughs> oh my god. Holy well, in, in total, not not of content, <laughs> okay. I guess, but like we're yeah. we're over forty five. So, uh, if you if you check match match options the triangle right now, is there anything you can do for? No. Okay, yeah, I I, I really Please. honestly have like scoured this trying to <laughs> trying yeah. to find anything like that. But uh, honestly, I think it's gonna work out because again, I really don't have that many matches. <laughs> But yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Um, no, ready? Before we get into this one, yeah, 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 okay. go. Let's, let's go for it. Uh, would we, uh, chat room, feel any differently about this if this were not a steak? If this were perhaps oh. a sandwich or a burger? Are any of your feelings or predictions on this tied specifically to the fact that it's a steak? If you want my opinion, I feel like anything under like a sufficiently nice expensive steak like actually kind of makes it worse in mm. the dad's favor <laughs> like you're telling me you're gonna act this way over like some raising canes <laughs> um, i had a fucking i you know i can hardly call him a friend uh is that a phase clan shirt <laughs> i don't know it just says phase on it i didn't change it was that in the game? It is in the game, yes. Is there a FaZe Clan shirt in I, WWE 2K22? I truly would not be able to tell you. Maybe there's someone more knowledgeable. Amazing. I tried, <laughs> I tried to properly capture that this kid is like 14 years old energy yeah, in the yeah. in the wardrobe. I forgot what the fuck I was talking about before You said you had a here. friend? Oh, yeah, 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 in college. I didn't have any money at this particular moment. Um, and we went to Wendy's, and I couldn't afford anything. And he got some chicken nuggets, and I didn't eat all of them. <laughs> and then I was like, hey, man, can I have some of those nuggets? And he was like, you didn't pay for them. You can't have them. And he threw them out the window of his car. Oh, my God. <laughs> I assume maybe not a friend for very long. <laughs> no, we, we kept hanging out. <laughs> I get that. I get that. I can't even blame you. Uh, so this is a Money in the Bank match, by the way, and which I thought was appropriate given uh, this could sort of represent their mutual uh, pining towards this lone piece of steak. <laughs> yep. So uh, suspended above the ring in the briefcase, in the metal briefcase, is uh, a single bite of steak. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, Dad will be climbing that ladder to retrieve it. His son will be climbing that ladder to prevent his dad from having right. a fight of steak. <laughs> yes, oh, stingy. Belly to belly suplex takes him right over, right away leveraging his superior size and strength as dad. Steak stingy is on the defensive here. Um, yep. But he's but gonna course, have the advantage on agility and speed, I think. Right, given he is 14 years old. Um, and also he clearly did not have nearly as uh, let's say thorough of a meal as uh, Mr. Hungry did. It's true, his uh, uh, metabolism burns hot. He's not able to keep a whole lot of weight on just yet. So he's operating from a, uh, a size disadvantage here, but there's a couple of big rights across the face, jacking daddy's jaw. Oh shit. Ooh, wow. Once again, that size difference coming to play right away. I know, the attempt yeah. at grapple there got shoved right off. N neither of them have gone for the ladder yet. They're definitely getting some uh, preemptive, I guess, disorientation in here. 
just to make sure Ooh. things are relatively safe. Dad's just tossing him around. Oh, he's going under. Is he grabbing another ladder? No, he's grabbing a chair. He's looking for a chair. Wow. Oh, no! Oh, Daddy! No, Dad! Oh, Why would you do butt. this? Takes him off. Uh, he's going to need to whittle away at Dad's stamina before he's able to execute any grapple maneuvers here, I think. Here's, here's the question. All those times that uh, Steak Stingy was able to beat Hungry Hungry in a battle of Smash, are those skills going to come into play? Oh, they're meeting at the top of the ladder. <laughs> oh, take this, Dad! <laughs> this is what you get for grounding me. All right, Dad's off the ladder. Really fighting for and that he's Disney got a World trip. Back. It's gonna take him a while to get back up oh, after shit. that. Oh, he's already. Yeah, he's going for the stake. Is he gonna hold it? Ooh. Oh, could be, could be. Just needs to. Oh, get that in order. Come on. God, he's he's making great time. Dad's coming back up. <laughs> Said I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. The stakes have never been higher. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. I I can't believe that didn't come up earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. All right, Dad in control now on the top of the ladder. He has the oh, chance. Oh, right. coming in with the pile driver. And, uh, Penny, not, no, not Damn at it. all. Oh, my Damn God. It. Right hand Refrain. across the midsection. Sends Stingy to the ground. Favoring that knee a little bit. His dad makes his way back to the top of the ladder. Gets in position to start manipulating that steak box, this, that doggy bag. This kid is dead. No, he's good. <laughs> he's fine. He was, he, like, wasn't moving. Ooh, Dad is oh, two ticks oh, he's away. he's pushing the ladder oh. over. Much like, much like the solid foundation of this family is coming apart, the son has taken the firm foundation from under his father. Now comes in Imagine. with a pile driver. Oh, Penny, no, no. Fuck! Imagine Mom watching this from the audience. I, I don't think she'd be able to look. No. I can hardly she, look, and I have the suspension of disbelief that this is not even actually a father and son, and this is just two digital representations of, of fighters dressed up to look like a father and son. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We're one tick away oh, oh, from securing oh, oh, that Oh, 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 come on, come on! Bring it home oh, that no! The tension! No! Oh, no. No brisket today. Oh, whoa, whoa, firm whoa. right across the jaw. Knocks him from the ladder. I think what? Daddy's going to have his bite of meat. Here's a question. What cut of steak is worth this violence? Uh, mm -hmm. I guess hungry, it doesn't hungry matter. Wins. Hungry, hungry doesn't wins. Matter. Wow. Just one little I'm... forkful of old beef rattling around in that box. Pat, not to, not to be too doomer about this, but I'm starting to feel like we're on the wrong side of history. I you feel and I. like assholes are winning. <laughs> God, I feel that every fucking day of my life. <laughs> All right. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Wait, Penny. Yeah? Do you think that maybe right and wrong can't be decided by force and maybe people with bad intentions have a monopoly on physical violence? I That's literally the most insane thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> okay, the no, let's keep The doing world this, is simple, actually. Okay, let's, let's keep going. <laughs> Keep okay. going. <coughs> um, all right. God, I can't Shit. believe Dad won. I know. It's fucking, it's crazy. But then again, he does have again, like, like, what, like 40 years on this kid? True. Yeah. A lot of experience. I Here's the thing. If that, if like I mentally retcon that post, like imagine that post goes, <laughs> I was at a restaurant with my dad and uh, I offered, he, he asked for a bit of my steak and I said no. And he got very quiet and sad. Right? I was gonna, I was gonna say like, like my dad asked me for a bite of steak, and I said no. You can buy one next time we come here, and I saw a tear fall out of my <laughs> poor father's eye, and he, he couldn't look me in the eye for the rest of our trip, and he didn't even smile when Mickey Mouse said hi to him at Disney World. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I love history uh i love historical revisionism yeah we can think about it that way um let's see um all right coming up next oh wait let me uh let me hide the 
He hide the game footage. All right, up next. Very excited for this one. This one's this one's a little juicy. This one's a little juicy, and this one's like, I feel like someone's gonna buy like the film rights to this one, and it's gonna be it's gonna be an adaptation sooner rather than later. Um, Pat, will you do the honors? Oh yes. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Which did did I did you send me this one or? Did I... I don't. I I didn't send you this one beforehand, but I am pretty sure I did pick this one. I, I think I saw this one when I was looking for yeah. ones. This one's <laughs> deranged. Okay, and it's long. Oh yeah, yeah. Go I, for it. I thirty F. My ex husband thirty one M. Period. Got divorced five years ago. Period. <laughs> the facing during the drama. <laughs> During our divorce, we owned a single wide mobile home, year 1973, on a large piece of land that is zoned for a trailer park. He wanted the, a new truck in our savings. I wanted the old trailer and the land. My ex gave, sorry, <laughs> did not, okay. My ex and I have two girls. Uh, they're both seven. No, they're eight and seven. Since my divorce, period. I slowly start buying single wides and restoring them period turning it into a business period i love it uh, i'm gonna stop saying the periods out loud <laughs> gonna, and just, so, just let, let uh, them be implied it's hoping for one last one but i get it <clears throat> my girls go to their dad's ap apartment every other weekend i started noticing their clothes electronics toys oh. were not coming home real quick real quick context because for some reason they don't give this context until the very end of the post uh, my girls go to their dad's and AP apartment. Uh, AP in this case stands for a fair partner, they say. So there was some some cheating going on that. Oh, okay. They was go to the my split between them. Geez. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, this one's hard to get through. <laughs> uh, we gotta keep going. Uh, their toys are not coming home. At first, I thought their dad was just keeping a few outfits for them. However, my eight-year-old got upset when she was packing. I asked her what was wrong. She told me her dad takes her clothes and sells them online. <laughs> God damn it. Jesus that, Christ. That she doesn't want to take her favorite shirt over there. I immediately called my ex and I asked him to return our daughter's clothes, not wanting to throw my daughter under the bus. I blamed it on them not having enough for school. He played dumb. He said he got rid of the clothes that were too small. I pointed out that the jeans our seven-year-old had were brand new. Then he said it was only fair he got some cash because he owned the trailer and the land. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing this good. I was pissed. I, Penny, you can't let this, this man win. You can't <laughs> let this man win. It's not up to me. It's not up to me. I was pissed. I took my daughters down to the dollar store, bought some cheap shirts, uh, to a thrift store and bought some cheap shorts. We had a girls tie-dye night, hot pink, everything. Made them five shirts and five bottoms. I let our girls design and decorate them. My girls loved it. The following week, X sends the girls home. Uh, I could tell he's mad, but he didn't say anything. The clothes were not returned. No fear. I knew this would be an issue. We made extras. When the girls went back, they were wearing tie-dye. <laughs> They were with their dad for an hour before he called and demanded different clothes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I kindly oh told my, my daughters love these clothes. They really love the tie-dye. X gets even angrier and said his parents have a major family party <laughs> and the girls can't wear pink tie-dye. I totally believe this person. 100%. Hey, we're having a major family party. <laughs> major family party. It's major. I told him they should go buy other clothes if he didn't want them to wear it. He called me an A for being petty. Am I the asshole? Edited ad. Thank you so much for all the comments. Uh, here are some things to clarify. AP stands for affair partner. Right. <laughs> Two. I, I, okay, tense. I will say, obviously, I feel for this person. Why would you assume people know what AP means? <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Owned is past tense. My ex is not on the land or the deed the title of my trailer. Three. Sadly, this is a true story. Oh, I am sorry for those who don't believe it. At the same time, my heart goes out to those who share your similar stories. Thank you for the love and support. 
All right, we got it. We got to fucking kill this guy, Penny. <laughs> I know. Okay, so obviously, 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 this dude fucking sucks. Um. However, unfortunately, it's not up to us who comes out on top in the sure. end. This is the this is the job of the computer. And honestly, I'm I'm ready to just like I'm I'm ready to give my will to the computer and say there are clearly some things that the computer understands that I don't. Um however, yeah. I will say it's hilarious the vague description of there's a major family party happening because <laughs> my thought my thought is just what what major what kind of major family party exists that doesn't just have another name for the thing <laughs> like yeah. a wedding family it's reunion sharon <laughs> thanksgiving <Major. laughs> all right let's you uh fuck me sharon <laughs> <laughs> okay let's set up the uh, let's set up the votes let's set up the predictions god God bless your souls, chat. I, I fucking God. Godspeed on this one. I yeah. I have no clue. But hey, um, here's the thing. Your predictions on this one are not moral, right? Your predictions are an opportunity to make channel points. So right. if you think you're going to have the advantage uh, by, by betting on this guy who sells his kids' clothes on eBay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe instead of phrasing it, who is not the a-hole, I should start phrasing it as like, who will win? Because that's, that's maybe a little less icky to vote on. Because at that point, like you're more, you're morally removing yourself from the result, just like we are. And, and unfortunately I have not been giving chat that chance and I apologize in retrospect. Um, uh, we, uh, now there's a special role in pro wrestling commentary. And I don't know if either one of us is up to it. Uh, but it is called the heel commentator. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. I I know this. Yeah, yeah. B Bobby Heenan is legitimately one of the best one of these ever. But their whole thing is that like no matter what is happening in the ring, no matter how evil the bad guy is being, they will bend this <laughs> the, the situation uh, and just twist what is happening in there to be like to make it seem like the person this evil person is just like in the right it's so funny the, the yeah. mental gymnastics that bobby Heenan yeah. will do i oh man hmm that's not you know I, i'm gonna send you some reels uh you don't have to you I, don't have to try it blind i am used to saying some pretty heinous shit on stream <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, listen. If either of us want to take it up uh, during the match, by all means, I don't know if deciding on it ahead of time is what we should do we'll here. Feel it out. We'll feel it out. <laughs> we'll feel it out because this is a this is a uh, emotionally volatile situation. I think. Yeah. All right. Let's let's. Oh, uh, so before I start the prediction, I'm gonna get the characters on screen. Uh, because the prediction spoils the names of them. Here we go. The Phantom Painter versus the Entrepreneur. The Entrepreneur. That's see that that is exactly the sort of heelish spin I was <laughs> looking for. That is exactly the kind of thing Bobby the Brain Heenan would come up with. He'd say, "He's an entrepreneur. He's, He's an entrepreneur. He's making his way. It's the American dream." All right, start your predictions now, chat. And uh, let's, uh, you, you wanna get into it? Let's do it. All right. Oh, by the way, so this is gonna be a, a backstage brawl. <laughs> so um, I think the story here is that this, this fight is happening uh, in the midst of one of their yet to be renewed single wide homes. Very cool. Also, uh, that is uh, the hair of uh... The incredible Bull Nakano, one of the greatest pro wrestlers. The paintbrush lived. hair? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I did not know this. Strike across the midsection. Oh boy, oh boy. A couple of big rights. Tilt a whirl, no gut wrench slam. So the Yakuza music really fits here. <laughs> this is, this greatly fits the vibes. Um, okay, so rules of a backstage brawl seem to be literally just any means necessary oh yeah, god you can do it. no not a shovel <laughs> no shovel, oh. no 
Oh, fuck. Jesus no. Christ. Oh. Oh, oh yes. Shit. Strike across the midsection. Hell yeah. Drops the untrop and her shovel strike to the back of the head. Misses, but uh, gets three to the face. Oh, four. Oh, oh, the combo. Another no. one across the midsection. Combo broken by the entrepreneur. Oh, no. You got to counter those. The painter rolls out of the way. Once again, grabs that <laughs> shovel. And that is an old. That, that doesn't oh, look like a normal back shovel. Oh, the head. Oh, that has got. That, that can't feel good. That can't feel good at all. Oh, no. And laying those shovel strikes oh, in across the lumbar. God. This is fucking this is insane, <laughs> Penny. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, I'm lightheaded. Oh, I'm lightheaded. No way. That oh, she is... it back up. Yes. Holy yes. shit. <laughs> oh, God. No. God. <laughs> Wait, someone needs to get this fucking shovel out of the equation. This is not good. Uh, Two-handed strike to the midsection. Goes and behind. here comes the pile driver. Oh, Penny almost. It was a attempted German suplex into an arm drag counter. Kick to I the was midsection. close that time. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Sack of potato slam. Uh, another one. The uh, the setting of this fight bringing down the sort oh. of like. Oh no. The last. That's ride. not. No. Uh, wait. What? Uh, what's? Hey. What's? What? Ha hey. My st my stream just cut out. What the fuck? That's weird. Wait, did he win? Did he What's win? That, what happened? That's so weird. I've never seen anything Craig's like that happen that before. Winner? Um, anyway, uh, so for some reason, I seem to... Oh, man, my save file got corrupted and we have to do the match again? What's what's so. going on? So. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a glitch in the production van. We're sorry, everybody. Okay, strikes in the midsection. Ooh, high kick combination into the dragon screw trying to take away the base of power i honestly think the computer might be the antagonist of this stream i That's think the computer <laughs> might be the ultimate heel All right. <laughs> That's it. oh my god that's it that's it the the secret third party commentator the silent commentator if you will the heel has been the cpu the whole time oh my god Oh, All right, strikes to the midsection, striking wow. combination, drop kick. He is not letting him have even a moment to recover. Oh, arms butterfly going up for the butterfly suplex over by the recycling bin. And an elbow drop across Can the Can this recycling bin be used in combat is what I want to know. That's a great question. I haven't played much of this. Er, sorry, Reduce, uh, I'm not familiar reuse, with this backstage area. Reorganize your facial features. Oh, God. Up into the electric oh, chair shit. for the drop. A couple of uh, spiteful little stomps across the shin. Collar and elbow tie up into the suplex. High release vertical suplex. The Phantom Painter... Fighting for her children, might I add, came out with a really, sure. really noticeable advantage at the top of this. Oh, oh, whoa, my God, that block, holy shit. Strike intercepts the chair, got him bent over the uh, gear case there. Once again, going after that lumbar, that lower back. Will this be the night that we finally recognize the truth of the matter that love does in fact conquer all? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Gonna go Here sit him comes. down and give him a talking to. Bam! Oh, fuck. wham! Ah. Right on the top of the noggin. Oh my god! You fucking love oh. to see. Oh no! Lift that one though. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Gonna lawn dart her. Carrying her around like a fucking rug. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no no. Oh, oh, oh she the is intercept. not fucking around this time. Here we go. Here go we go. Go behind. Oh. German suplex attempt once again into the arm drag. Oh god, not again, not again, not again. Oh, can she come back from this? Oh god. Power bomb on the concrete. So close. Oh, Jesus Christ. Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
they are they are both just to oh, the very that... last breath. They are not they are not going to go down that, that easy combination once again. Into the collar and elbow oh, tie shit. up, Irish whip oh. up the ramp, moving the fight somewhere else. It appears up the slope. Here we go. Get him further. <laughs> Get him further up there. Trip him over the ledge. Come on. Ooh. European uppercut takes him down to his back. <laughs> so to get the shovel out again. Yeah, I know. Bring the shovel back. That was working for that was you. was so effective. Oh, what Jesus. was that? Was, was that last again. match? Oh, Jesus. Oh, you can't do that. <laughs> was that Was that at the... Her head on the edge of the... Oh, no. Oh, no. I truly... I truly don't know whose game it is right now. This is like... This is the and close. The last oh, ride. That's fuck. It. All right. We've we've been put in our place. It seems the computer has an agenda. All right. Well, hey, that that means I don't have to refund any channel points. So <laughs> yeah. I'm fine with that. Well, you know, I mean, so now the system has proven, <laughs> right? who is the asshole. So now what is the justification for why it is actually a good idea to sell your kids clothes on eBay? Capitalism is so fun. It's it's just a blast. Have you tried it? I guess like he's teaching the kids about entrepreneurial spirit. Right. And uh Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Those clothes. Oh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. She keeps sending those kids over here with the, with bed bugs in their clothes. Oh, th I'm just there getting it rid is. of them. There it is, right? And he's and he's doing this research to make sure that the the, the people he's selling the bed bug infested clothes to are all like love bed bugs. Yeah, they're all people and who love murderers bed bugs. and and they oh, love okay. bed no, bugs. Oh, okay, no, yeah, yeah, you're right. No, you're right. both yeah. of them no, at no, the same no, time. Okay. Yeah, they yeah. it works. It's he's got a whole system. He files <laughs> bed, yeah. bed bug lovers and scoundrels in two separate yep. filing cabinets. It all makes sense. <laughs> That's the most, <laughs> the most justifiable reason. Wow, I really feel good about this outcome now. Yeah. Very cool. Cool. I don't, I don't feel terrible at all. Let's keep going. <laughs> no, yeah, that definitely doesn't just like put a pit in my stomach. Um, oh, man. Hey, wherever you are, if ever you are, uh hang in there okay let's see um oh this next one this next one's a little lighter this next one i um i actually i think i put this one right after because i knew the, it would help break up the energy a little bit <clears throat> the pacing yeah okay <laughs> I'm just quite excited for this one uh oh, just, yeah, despite my yeah, limited okay. familiarity um okay here we go um Am I the asshole for playing Taylor Swift nonstop because my boyfriend won't stop playing Bob Dylan? Um, okay, this is really pretty silly and not to be taken too seriously. We're mostly messing with each other, parentheticals, I think? So no, quote, leave and sue him comments, please. So my boyfriend and I have been together for five years and live together. We have a lot of artists we both like, but one that he likes that I don't is Bob Dylan. I know that's controversial. I know he's a legend. I just find his voice grating. Additionally, I like Taylor Swift and he does not. We have a speaker set up in our house and in the car and both put on music often. <clears throat> One thing I never play outside of when I'm alone or through headphones is Taylor Swift because I know he doesn't like her. He does not extend this same courtesy. Despite me saying 100 plus times that I don't like him and asking him to play something else, he persists. So recently, past week, I've been playing Taylor Swift nonstop. I don't even like her that much, but every time I remember to do this petty thing, I do. At first, he was just rolling his eyes and laughing a bit, making comments that he doesn't like her and occasionally asking to turn it off. I do, but then play it again later, like he does with Bob Dylan. He's been seemingly playing Bob Dylan even more now, so I figured we were having some lighthearted shitting on one another. <laughs> Nothing more lighthearted than that, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> This morning, though, he came to me saying that he feels like I'm not respecting his boundaries and purposefully trying to upset him. This isn't true. I was doing it to be petty. 
<laughs> What's the difference? Uh, and mostly thought it was funny. But I did find it hypocritical now since I'm literally doing the thing he's done to me for years now. I told him how I've been doing it on purpose to make a point since he never stops playing Bob Dylan even after I've asked him not to many times. He says, it's not a big deal. He's really good. And then I applied the same logic to my Taylor Swift. And he said, <laughs> this is a mess, to get genuinely upset and left the room. Now I kind of feel like an asshole. I wasn't trying to seriously hurt him. I thought it would be kind of funny and snarky. I'm going to apologize regardless because I realize now that I was being petty and it obviously upset him. But am I the asshole here? Edit. He's now blasting and singing along to Bob Dylan in the other room. I don't think he was serious about being upset. <laughs> Edit two, I'm reciprocating with This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things by Taylor Swift. Edit three, we talked and laughed about it. His Bob Dylan did annoy me, but I opted to fuck with him back instead of just talking about it because it really wasn't that big of a deal. Also, he wasn't actually upset. He was fucking with me. We both agreed to try to stop playing these two artists in front of each other and have implemented a veto system moving forward. LOL. Whew. All right. A lover's quarrel. Mm. <laughs> you sound like you might have some thoughts. No, this is that. I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to have sympathy for somebody who enjoys Bob Dylan. <laughs> oh, shit. What are you? What are you, some kind of Taylor Swift stan? Yeah. I'm a, what, what do they call those? Uh, Sw Swifties? Well, what, was, what are the... I was actually... I hesitated because I was trying to think of the word and I couldn't find it in my brain lexicon. Um, actually, I think no, it is Bob Swifties. Dylan's fine. I just... I could not intentionally listen to Bob Dylan or I guess Taylor Swift. So I don't really have a horse in this race. I think I'm ready to see this one settled in combat. Yeah, I don't... I don't really... I truly... Like, I can't even begin to insert any sort of... Um, uh investment into this this scenario yeah. i just thought it would be funny to uh watch this play out because um well you yeah. see uh i thought well in in normal circumstances based on how we've been doing it it seems pretty clear that the way to take this is by having uh the girlfriend and the boyfriend represented by some kind of thing uh, fight it out, but I uh, elected to instead do something more interesting. I hope he did what I think he did. Taylor yes. Swift versus Bob Dylan. Yes. <laughs> um, let me get this prediction <laughs> set up. The fucking the, I think this is the fight that everyone's been wanting to see for a very long time. Even. Let's see. I can't wait. <laughs> Um, I don't. I don't know a lot of Bob Dylan. I'm a child, so uh, you know. Bob Dylan's pretty good, I guess. I don't know. He's. Eh, I don't know. Then again, I also don't know a lot of Taylor Swift. Like, I really don't know much of the, dis the discographies of either of these people. Um, I am more familiar with Taylor than than Bob himself. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so Chad just said. Bob Dylan is so fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at those dead eyes. I was gonna say, do you mean in real life or <laughs> Bob Dylan looks uncharacteristic? Oh, just wait, just wait. Okay, <laughs> oh, let's God. uh, let's get into it. Oh Jesus. Also, I don't know what I was worried about in terms of stream length. This is gonna, this is gonna work out fine. Oh yeah, we're gonna be good. I and always, a steel um... cage match, wonderful. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot to say. So, it's either I think whoever goes down first or whoever escapes the cage. That's right. Yep. Basically. <laughs> Two music legends. <laughs> uh, that's that is how she enters a room. <laughs> This is why everybody loves her, right? This is why she's America's sweetheart, because she runs around like this. Climbing up that ring like, wee! I love, um... He's deranged. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually think I intentionally picked this one. Um, just kind of oh, happened like that. For prediction. Oh, shit, did I not start predictions? I could have sworn I did. 
Oh yeah, yeah, I did. People voted. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, <clears throat> and here comes Bob. Here comes Robert. Hey, I'm Bob Dylan. Hey. <laughs> it's so. You know what it is. You know what part of it is. It's so weird to um. <laughs> you hear that guy in the background? <laughs> that, but also, I'm sorry. I'm looking at chat, and I I'm not gonna address it, but I. Can be up. <laughs> are, are, are people talking about Bob Dylan's jugs? They are. And someone just used the phrase Dan Bobby here, Bobby. <laughs> oh, Boob Dylan. Oh, fuck. I can't. I was hoping it would go. <laughs> Chat, you're woke, right? Chat, you're woke, right? Come on. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What was I going to say? I was gonna say, um, oh, this is like, this is like 12 thoughts ago. Um, oh shit, Taylor <laughs> coming in. Oh man. Uh, I love the like, the new, like, red Taylor's version rendition of We're Never Getting Back Together, specifically because, um, when she says, Wee! It's like the way it's mixed. It's not as much of like a loud, like stadium pop song in the mix in that version. So it literally just sounds like she's having like a great time. <laughs> like she's on a roller coaster. She's trying to get out already. She's like, she does not want to be in here with music no, she, legend Bob not. Dylan. All right, Bob Dylan going for those legs, smacking the back of that calf and running right into the pinfall. Do we have pinfalls in this match? I guess so, too. That's a two count. Oh, coming oh in with- Oh my god, the agility of Bob Dylan. Oh shit, oh, okay. <laughs> that was a close one. So yeah, it's either, it's either pinning or escape. <laughs> yes, and Bob Dylan going for that escape. Trying to shuffle off this mortal coil finally i can't believe this guy's still alive uh <laughs> i truly i when i was briefly researching how bob dylan looks and like briefly skimming his wikipedia page to make sure he wasn't an immensely problematic figure um <laughs> before putting him in i truly could not tell and until just now when you said that did not know whether he was alive or dead i think he's alive Nothing on his, nothing on any picture or on his page gave me a definitive impression. <laughs> the wiki keeps mentioning his juicy jugs. Y'all, come on. Ah, uh, Bob Dylan with the burning hammer. Oh shit! And the that knee was like right in the face of. Yeah, it was right in the chin. Is that a no? Only a two count. That's two, two counts. Three two counts, I think. And he's going for the escape now in his Birkenstock sandals and his button down t shirt and his little straw hat. <laughs> I yeah, I tried so hard to get the closest equivalent to a straw hat. I think all oh, things wow. considered. Oh shit! I oh is he's he, gonna get out of the cage. He's on his way out. What a no, stupid no, but kind Taylor Taylor's coming in to pull him back. No! Come on, Tay Tay. There, there is no way you have naturally swayed that way to fall back into the cage based on where you were standing, Bob. Oh, she's got to hold that leg, though. Uh, All right. He's uh, retreating back to avoid taking any further punishment to his thigh. Oh. Oh, shit. Grabs my the back my thought is, like, oh. just at that point, just take her with you and adjust your weight in such a way that you're the first one to hit the ground. Right? Yeah. It's... Uh, Oh, but he's going again. So only WWE does cage matches like this way, where the way to win is to be a coward and run away. <laughs> what? How? How do others do it? Uh, in like WCW and other promotions, the idea of a cage match is like, oh, this match is so dangerous, or like one of these people keeps running away, so we're gonna put him in a cage so nobody can run away. Oh, <laughs> and in the but WWE, one, for some the, reason, you win by getting out of the cage. The cage is what makes the win condition running away. Yeah, 
That's so yeah. interesting. And that's Bob Dylan, music legend, coming out on top. That's right, the oldies. Johnny Cash. Fucking. Don't think twice. Beethoven. Candle in the Wind. Name a, ba uh, n name, a, name a Bob Dylan song, chat. We didn't start the fire, I think. Oh. It would be great if you got some Billy Joel in there. <laughs> Well, I guess uh, I guess Bob Dylan wins. I love this pleasant smile from Bob. <laughs> yeah, the, the way that the animation just sort of terminated, and then like Bob <laughs> looked at the camera like that. Good, you good. Yeah, was that good? Are and you done? know what, Bob? According to the the viewers, it was very good. Uh, three stars, three out of five. Uh, Bob, you've proved <laughs> you've proven to us that uh, the classics always come out on top. This this fucking pop nonsense cannot compete compared to just a good old good old guitar did he do guitar good old piano fuck yeah all right yeah. uh yes the uh this this machine kills fascists uh was woody guthrie's guitar uh <laughs> and then bob dylan was a huge fan of it and might have ripped it off <laughs> all right uh, did we... Okay, we got, um... Who who came out on top? Oh, hey! I think this is the first time... Wait, is this the first time... Hold on, I'm thinking about this the wrong way. Anyway, uh, congratulations to those who voted for Bob Dylan. It was over 60%. Uh, almost 69. We were so close. We could have had something great. Um, but... Oh, hold on. Sorry. Okay. Up next. We've got... This is one that you sent. I I think. I think this is one you sent. I don't know. Either way. Uh, it's uh, it's your turn for the dramatic reading. Wonderful. Let's get this one. Let's get this one in here. Yeah, okay, I did send you this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought so, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> My husband and I, 30s, haven't been on a trip out of the country for years, while he goes every year with his best friends. His reasons for going with him is because they go to attend sporting events. This year, my husband told me I could go with him and his friend since they were visiting a new destination. He paid for my ticket and everything else since I'm a SOM and have no job. Now, oh, stay at home Stay at home mom, mom. Okay. yeah. Okay, since that I'm also, a stay at home mom. That took mom. me a second. <laughs> cool. Uh, <clears throat> the kids were left with my mom. However, when I found out that he had booked first class for himself and his friend, well, I got economy. I just couldn't oh. hold my tongue. Oh. I confronted him about it, and he at first refused to discuss when the argument got heated, but yelled, I paid for your tickets for fuck's sake. Isn't that oh. enough? My God. Oof. Oof. Then kept on about how I should stop acting like I was royalty. Ah! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't read that far into this. Okay, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and I I really tried. Like, whenever I picked one, I was like, I gotta, like, read this as thoroughly as possible Jesus and make Christ. sure this is yeah, not this is... rancid. We're in divorce territory here. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, they kept on about how I should stop acting like as ro royalty and that, come to think about it, even economy was fine for me since I technically don't work anyways. Oh, my Jesus. God! Uh, what? <laughs> I Penny, guess I didn't let this that. motherfucker win. It's not up to me. Penny. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Let's see what you got in the back. Uh, <laughs> okay, he changed. Okay. Uh, I cried because of what he said. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but decided to just not go altogether. He changed his tone and started begging me just to go. Uh but I declined. I went to pick up the kids from my mom's house and he came back three hours later huffing and huffing and buffing huffing and about buffing. what had happened. Sticking out his, his chest. His friend like, sent me a text calling me entitled. Oh, uh, no, okay. 
<laughs> All right, am I the asshole? <laughs> You're not reading the rest of it? Uh, fine. No, I'm going to do it. I blocked him. And he's... Uh, he, my husband... Uh, am I the asshole for not settling for economy? By the way, he's perfectly fake capable of financing the trip. Oh, no. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, so we know. We know. Now. Th please, please. <laughs> <laughs> the, the. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the headline like, of this was the one that initially did it for me because it is just like it is unbelievably clear who the asshole I is know. imagine like, doing this yeah it's 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 like someone is like describing behavior from an alternate universe to me like i can't fucking compute that there is anyone existing on this world that acts in this way you know, like, it, it's like, it, I literally can't compute, but you know what can compute? Pewter. The, the pewter. That's right. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me get these characters on screen. Oh, my God. That luxury homebound versus lad. luxury lad. Um, let's, get, <laughs> let's get another prediction going. Who will win? Outcome. That is a first class fucker right there. I know, yeah. He's even got the he's got the neck towel. I, I tried to ask you. Oh yeah. Have have you ever had the pleasure of flying first class? I haven't. No, I actually I've only flown um a couple times in my life. Uh, I actually I went on a plane for the first time, no joke, in like twenty nineteen, I wanna say. Okay. Um maybe twenty oh maybe it was twenty eighteen. Um and you know like i had like a couple other chances to do so after but then when COVID hit it was like i literally haven't been on a plane since COVID hit so mm -hmm. um no never have you once yeah for for uh for work how was it it was a, it was great it was a, it was a uh, international flight and uh, i guess their policy the company policy was that for international flights we get booked business class uh so i i was able to sleep on the plane i slept on the Sick. plane for like 10 hours it oh worked. maybe one day when airplanes exist again yeah um yeah. all right so i'm gonna set up this uh prediction uh yeah. it's gonna be two minutes this time i think i'm gonna extend it to two minutes and then just start the match as it's going that's cool with everybody just so that i just so that we're certain that everybody oh wait oh shit alexa already started it uh okay Never mind then. Uh, yeah. Oh, but it is two minutes, I believe. Cool. Awesome. All right. Let's fucking go. <clears throat> Please, I am literally begging whatever RNG goddess. <laughs> you know what it is? It is fucking Vince us. McMahon sits inside the computer <laughs> and decides. It's, That's the only possible explanation for what's going on It is fucking crazy to me that... Every single time we have like a strong opinion about who should come out on top, the computer decides otherwise. It's insane because I like to pull back the curtain a little bit. I ran test versions of these matches before we streamed tonight, and it was not this consistent at all. This is crazy, but anyway, we got homebound coming in. Uh, homebound looking a little worse for wear. After but, her I mean, experience on economy. <laughs> simply because she deserves a vacation. And hopefully she's going to earn it today. Making her way down the ring solemnly. Violence on her mind. Yeah, she, she does violence. not look like she is fucking around. Which, I mean, would you in this situation? I don't think so. Not at all. <laughs> Just one guy. Go! Yeah! yeah. It's like, it's like a, I have this laugh track. Uh, on my soundboard, and at the very end, it always fucking cracks me up when I let it play through all the way, because at the end, there's you get the smallest hint of a very loud man going, uh, yeah. and it cuts off, <laughs> and 
It's just so funny to me. It's like, it's this little thing. But it gets me every time. She's just giving the crowd the death stare. Like, she really, she, she means business, which let's, you know, fingers crossed. That means we could be looking at our first win of the night. <laughs> our, our first win for just like basic decency. Here, Here he comes, comes luxury lad. He doesn't even have on his towel yet. Yeah. He's got a shiny uh, glitter suit. <laughs> his fucking mustache. I'm sad that uh, I, I should have got in ahead of time and told you you should have given him a, a manager who is his little friend. Oh he gets my to fly God. first class with him. Another little luxury lad. I didn't know you could do managers. Oh, yeah, that would have made managers. so much sense for some of these matchups. <laughs> oh, man. Rich, you'll 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 richer. see what I mean. There are a couple <laughs> later down the line. Oh, can I just say I'm so excited for the next four. After this okay. one, shit's gonna get fun. All right, let's do this. All right, off we go. Collar and elbow tie up in the middle of the ring. Go behind, shifting the weight across the body to get that advantageous position. We get a big shit. stomping in the upper back into the cross arm breaker. Not even giving him a moment to assess his surroundings. Oh, but he's coming back. Breaking free there. Still uh, favoring that arm a little bit. Took a bit of damage there. Strike across the face. And over to the top rope. Irish whip reversed. Now, Whoa. here's... Oh. <laughs> and he takes flight. Oh, my God. Whoa. Very fitting. Very fitting, given the circumstance. And on that note, I must say, do you think... Possibly the the sort of rough and tough hardened experience that uh, Miss Homebound here has had uh, facing the the danger of economy class has prepared her for such an encounter. Whereas maybe on the opposite end, Luxury Lad is more he's he's been a little bit pampered in recent days. He's he's not exactly warmed up for this kind of encounter. I don't know. He seems to be doing pretty well in spite of it. You can't discount is the restfulness, right? If, if right. she came off of an economy flight, she is not rested. She is. She was sitting in a seat that was too small, uh, you know, two or three inches away from the person in front of her. Right. Uh, you know, paying out of pocket for all of her food and beverages. She's probably in a bad mood. She's probably tired. Her skin's probably very dry unless she wore a mask. Uh, you know, a, a full. Uh, uh, you know what do they what do they say? What are those called? Masks? The skin masks? To keep your know. skin fluids in? That's a... Wait, is that a thing? Like a mask with a Q? I straight up don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I going insane here? Oh, shit. Double no, axe it, handle off the top rope. It's just that I don't know what things are. Don't worry. It's not your fault. Um... Oh shit. Okay, so that was a close one. That was a close one. Almost came out on top. Close pinfall there. Goes for the now, midsection. Shoved off. Go ahead. I'm just saying. I oh, really, the backbreaker. Really, oh fuck. I really wish she had a better shirt. I feel bad. Clearly, this is a case where like some. Oh, 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 oh coming in with the oh, pile driver. Oh, Penny. What the fuck no, is I'm what's? Sorry. Okay. Can you give me draw. a hint? A just a little hint. Uh, think of the construction uh, tool that is called the pile driver. <laughs> do you remember? You love construction, right? You're always you... on here talking about how much you love construction. Do you remember equipment. that one time? Maybe it was a few days ago. Maybe a few minutes, seconds, even uh, when I said I don't know what things are. <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Are Penny? you fucking kidding me? No way! What is going on? Penny, can you check the settings and see if you have the game set to evil? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. You even told me to check that before we started the stream. That's got to be it. Yeah, I, it's on by default, which is weird. <laughs> That's weird, but also kind of it makes sense. Um, no, I disagree. That was not very good. I. <laughs> we morally approve of this. <laughs> This man, well, he represents us. Um, shit, okay. I can't, I, something is happening. 
Something is going on, and I don't know what it is, but this thing, this whole thing stinks from top to bottom, if you ask me. <laughs> said, Penny, I'm so poor right now. <laughs> you and Homebound both. Um, okay, well, we have four left. And these... From from here on out, there's there are there's no longer gonna be a one on one match. Wait, actually, mm -hmm. there's one. Okay. But don't worry about that. We'll get to that. But um, the remaining three, uh, semi nor as normal as you can get in this case matches, um, are all uh, multi multi man fights. Um, and this first one. Uh, the the specifics of this first one came from uh, some input from your end, which was very appreciated. Um, I, uh, did you read the last one? You read the last one, right? I did read the last one. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, so I'm gonna read this one. Coming up, we have <laughs> <laughs> we have. Am I the asshole for refusing to climb a ladder to bring my dad a hammer? I, 21M, am extremely terrified of heights from a childhood trauma from falling off a ladder when I was 10, resulting in a concussion, a broken arm, and a broken collarbone. Just going to start off by saying, fair. This happened on Thursday when my dad, 44M, was on the roof fixing a leak. My dad has taken my dad had taken a break and went into the kitchen leaving the hammer on the table. As he went back outside to continue working, uh, he started shouting for me to bring him the hammer. My brother, 20M, who isn't terrified of heights, <laughs> came inside to t that's how they distinguish each other. They're actually twins. Um mm. and uh, whenever they whenever they meet with somebody, it's like, "Oh, how do I tell who's who?" and it's like, "Oh, well, I'm deathly afraid of heights. This guy, he loves uh Alton Towers." Um my brother, 20M, who isn't terrified of heights, came inside to tell me to uh, go up the ladder to give it to my dad. I refused and said he shouldn't have left it on the table and that my brother should do it since he has no problem with heights. My brother stormed outside and my dad started yelling for me to bring it to him again. Sorry, I keep glancing between chat and also... Hold on, I need to focus. I came outside and responded back saying, you know I am terrified of heights. You could have easily asked Jake to bring it up or come down the ladder to get it yourself. My dad said that it's time for me to be a man and get over it. Oh, uh, boo. Yeah, I went back inside ignoring him. My brother came back inside to grab the hammer. They haven't talked to me since. And oh. my, my mom said the least I could, this is the steak thing all over again. My mom said the least I could have done is put it at the bottom of the ladder. I don't think I did anything wrong. I'm not ready to conquer my fear, let alone feeling forced to. Am I the asshole? So. No, no, okay. A logistical question. Sure. That, that I think does matter here and might actually factor in to the assholeness. Mm -hmm. What height of a ladder are we talking about here? Uh, because yeah, are we talking this is step a really ladder? Tall, generally, unless this is like a full size, like fucking construction fire ladder. When my dad's on there working on something, and he says, hey, get me the hammer, that's a matter of standing next to the ladder and saying, here right. you go, dad, right? Well, let's well, let's think. He was working on the roof. So it must working have been, mm. I want to say, maybe maybe over 10 feet. Uh, yeah, okay. That's or fair. Or at least around. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, this kid is, uh, I think, 21. Uh, um, so average... Reddit, male height, 21 years old, probably around, <laughs> let's say like four by four, three. <laughs> um, uh, no, all jokes aside. Uh, yeah, clearly not a case where it's just like, oh, you can easily reach down without putting yourself at risk, which is fair. Just throw the hammer at your dad. <laughs> yeah. Just say, hey, hey, pops, catch. <laughs> right. Well, well, but here's here's a wrinkle. The mom is bringing up the idea that he could have just left it at the bottom of the ladder, which I honestly think, like, in this kind of like volat like clearly volatile situation, this dad is all about like, 
honor and 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 doing right and being courageous like part of me thinks like and this is speculation this do, don't don't put this uh you know you can strike this from the record but part of me is like would this be a case where just leaving it at the bottom of the ladder might possibly even make him more angry yeah it, it might be worse right yeah it's like, why oh, like you, why you didn't you just hand it to me yeah no uh. okay but alas apparently our opinion does not matter when it comes to the uh ever objective hand of computational justice um so let's let's see what comes of this we have our match this is a three-way ladder match between ladder dad father's chosen and father's favorite <laughs> oh. uh so the i'm guessing the one in the uh making a sort of ashamed expression in the the robe is yeah I got a little yeah, conceptual with this one. Father's yeah. chosen is meant to sort of represent, you know, you have the, he's he's chosen. He was the chosen one, but really in a sort of prodigal son kind of sense, did not right. answer the call when it was most uh, pertinent no, to do so. Um, yep. And so the hood sort of represents the way he like hides away from his fears. You know, he's, he's, mm -hmm. he's very much not ready to face them. Uh, and uh, Ladder Dad has glowing red hands because I thought that looked cool. Yeah, it does look cool. You're right about that. Yeah. I feel like Father's Favorite is pretty self explanatory. Yeah, that's Jake. That's Jake. That's, that's Jake. That's quote Jake. <laughs> that's quote Jake. Which I can't believe I didn't just name him quote Jake in the creator. I was getting, I don't know. I was onto something here. Uh, whether or not it was worthwhile, we could debate on later. Uh, let me, let me set up the. Or, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna let Alexa, Alexa, if you're cool with doing so, I'm gonna let you keep setting up the predictions just so that we're not fighting for whoever gets them running first. Um, So I'm gonna wait for that to begin before starting the match. Do you want it three way? Ooh. That's a, ooh, that's a good question. So if it's, if it's a three way vote, I don't think the little um blurb will come up on the screen like the overlay that shows people's votes i think that might fuck with it you can make it three-way it, it just might not come up on the overlay this time but people will still be able to vote be yeah because this this will be like any one of these three can come out on top this is not a one versus two situation you can't unfortunately i don't think make matches where the uh one person is out outmatched in such a way or at least i couldn't Evan find out online says this looks like a fucking mishima family situation <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i i i was in i don't know when I, I don't know at what point i made this but for some reason this i had a very sort of like anime kind of <laughs> visualization of this conflict yeah. when i was designing these games very good he, okay. He, the, the dad just wants his son to climb the ladder to awaken his latent power. <laughs> I know the devil gene sleeps in you. You'll never defeat climb the, the darkness ladder. if you don't get to the top. The top being your destiny. Okay. Um, let's get going. Get your predictions in. Ladder. Yeah, it was. It was ladder. <laughs> Old Spice thing. Wait, you got an Old Spice sponsorship for this? Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, they're definitely not just covertly <laughs> uh, coming into my stream with the with the product placement. Um, so yeah, it was it was funny because so you suggested this post and sent it just with the phrase ladder match <laughs> and. <laughs> then I read the title. <laughs> I was like, oh, very good. <laughs> it, it was just, it was a match made in heaven, quite literally. All right. Here comes, here comes Father's Chosen. Down the runway. Will he regain his control? Will he regain his courage? We'll have to see. 
because this being a ladder match, the goal is to reach the top of the ladder, which, as we know, is a bit of an issue for him. Yeah. This is uh this this could be a moment of personal redemption. Also, we have the COVID audience back. <laughs> I keep fucking forgetting <laughs> to check that. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> here he comes. <laughs> here comes Papa. The glowing uh the glowing hands. This is actually um. I I was I'll just say I'm I was very short on time for some of these. <laughs> uh, so, this is basically just one of the stock outfits they give you and i was like well i want to change it a little bit so i i made his gloves glow red that looks good it's the red sort of right uh, man. representing the the sort of uh the the iron fist he he rules over his family with oh yeah and there's Ooh. that intimidation he's yeah known for. yeah be a man get to the top of this ladder face your fears whether it's your time or not. I fell off a ladder really hard as a baby. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fucking cracked my skull. Oh no. I can't say, I, I was like, I was, I was horribly afraid of, I, I guess I could just say everything as a kid. I, I mm. really went out of my way or, I really, how would I say this? I really made sure that I, I was never putting myself remotely in a position where I was in any sort of like physical danger, even slightly, even if it was like minimal. Um, so like, I wouldn't fucking climb ladders. I wouldn't like go swimming. <laughs> I was that's, like- that, I, That's so cool. Is it? I, I... It, I don't know. It just shows that you were, you were, you're were built different. <laughs> Smart. Like, I, I don't know. I, I fell off a ladder. I stick keys in electric outlets. I, uh, wait, I'm sorry. What? Yeah, I did that. Okay. You but, know what? Now that you say that I've talked about this on stream before and I, I actually don't think I am as I, I was not always as safe as. I am maybe giving off the impression as as I was because um, I haven't necessarily fallen off a ladder, but I have uh, come into direct contact with electricity twice in my life. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I, uh, I I bare hand gripped the lining of an electric fence when I was oh. like I want to say seven. Ain't you seen Jurassic Park? <laughs> no, I hadn't. Oh, okay. Not at the time. Oh All shit! Right, oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Ladder matches off to a grueling start. Jake, Jake, taking <laughs> Jake the so, brunt of the punishment. What's interesting here is that this is a, a three-way free-for-all. So, Jake is also. Um, I, don't, I don't. It's 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 interesting. Why would Jake be here? I'm trying to think. I mean, I sensed a bit of antagonism between him and the chosen. So. Right. Right. Of course. Right. But now, now I'm thinking like. Like it, th this was a case where, you know, if if I had been able to build a match where it was uh, Jake and and the father versus uh, the chosen one, uh, which I believe is the actual name of a wrestler, um, <clears throat> like I would have done so. But oh, you you can't really. Oh, oh shit, he's already going for it. You can't do that though. So I'm I, I'm trying to determine. It's it's interesting. His his motivations are are kind of they're they're a bit concealed. You know he's 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 more visually out in the open compared to Father's Chosen, of course. Yeah. Um. But his motivations <laughs> are are as secretive and as as behind the cowl. I mean, I think I would theorize that what's going on here in this relationship between the Chosen and his father is sort of a uh, it's a, what's, what's the word? Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, to, to borrow the cliche, it is, it is to toxic masculinity, right? His right. father is asking him to overcome his fears, uh, without support, uh, 
And within these uh, patriarchal structures, there is only room for one patriarch, right? So that might explain Jake's desire to prove that uh, he is better than both his father and his brother, right? Right. He wants to be the one on top of the ladder yelling at his brother, come get me the the hammer, you coward. Yeah, and this is, and and it's an interesting dynamic because in a way you could say that uh, uh, Father's Chosen's like, resilience in his own needs and in his own personal values you know his his needs to uh you know not do something he's not comfortable with when it's not entirely necessary because you know jake absolutely was there he could have gotten the the hammer um yep. but you know father's yep. chosen he 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 stood up for himself and in a way that's one of the most healthy examples of you know masculinity and resilience it's this uh standing your ground in the face of adversity. Um, and in a way that's potentially threatening to the two of them who both in their own way sort of subscribe to this uh, this patriarchal system, this traditional toxic. My whole the ladder's going crazy. That that can't oh. be comfortable for Father's Chosen to look at. Huge German suplex and he doesn't let go. <laughs> You're already scared of Rip ladders. Forward. Imagine a fucking oh shake God, a shaken ladder suspended in midair yes somebody in chat a minute ago said this is literally just tekken and and that is actually true right because you got (laughs) Hihachi mishima the original abusive dad who's really terrible to his son kazuya who then has his own son jin and then jin is the one who's like trying to break out of the those structures that his family put on top of him and he's got a shitty dad and a shitty grandpa to compete with and he's up there and he's got his hand around his throat this might be his chance to break loose Oh shit. Jake's up. So I guess you could say uh, the money in the bank here potentially represents the sort of metaphorical standing as like the most resilient of the family. This is like them trying to reclaim uh, their place in the in the patriarchy of this yeah. family. Or, or maybe just maybe there's just a hammer in there. Maybe, yeah. I like both. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh no! Wow. That. I think daddy wins. I, I truly think Jake is not coming back from that one. No. There's no way. At least not anytime soon. That was like, what? A, that was, fittingly enough, that was about maybe like a 10 foot fall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly now. Oh shit! But like, that's that's He's a really interesting development because, in a way, now he has an opportunity to see where Father's Chosen's coming from. You had a chance to grab it. Now you got to set up the damn ladder again. What are you doing? Oh, that's what. Okay. He's using his fear as a weapon. This is powerful. This is powerful stuff. Mm, mm, beautiful wow. stuff too. Laying oh. in with a series of elbows there and then the spear to take Pops down. Going up, trying to get a hold of that hammer or, you know, the, the much more interesting thing you said that was in the box. <laughs> uh, their, their manhood, their masculinity. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my god, and another power bomb off the ladder. Jake doesn't rest for a second, sweeps the leg, going in for a sharpshooter. Oh is- shit. Oh, hang on. Is he putting him in the surfboard? Ladder dead. Oh. Taking a moment to psych up the crowd. Oh. Ladder dad, no. Don't you understand? It doesn't have to be this way. Oh, but Jake coming in with the pile driver. Uh, pretty close that time. That was okay. an emerald flosion. Ah, shit. It, it, you know now. what? It's. I think that was the one I was thinking of. Is just like it, they sound similar. Mm-hmm. The chosen one with a super kick, dumping Jake to the outside once again, getting that ladder just right, suppressing his fear. Oh, and here he goes. Here he goes. Come on, you just gotta just get that little red ball through the <laughs> stupid fucking Bentley's hack pack mini game. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on, come on. Come on. Kid, it's not that hard. Come on. Kid, come on. 
No, Dad, no! You don't understand. This is how he comes out on top. This is how he becomes a full-fledged adult. They are, they are oh not... Oh, my God. Not going Tossing down easy. Tossing him around the ring like a rag doll. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Whoa. Got wrench power slam. Trips over the ladder there. Russian leg sweep. Rolls over into some strikes to the face. Watch out for Jake. Jake is back up. Oh, my God. What the hell? <laughs> that's a, that is a fight between brothers right there. Oh, no, yeah, that, that is a two brothers that, fighting that thing. Is that is a straight up you. You actually beat me in Tekken. I'm pissed. Feels like it's anyone's game right now. Because mm. even if they get a hold of the the box, you know, they they keep missing this shitty little mini game. Oh, oh, but oh. here comes Dad. <laughs> what a surprise. Oh, shit. I really, come on, we need a win. We need somebody good to win just once. Come on, kid. Oh. Come on, get Pops up. You got Jake's this. Down the ladder. The Chosen is back up on his feet. He's got a couple seconds here to make a move. Oh, 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 so Those close. Come on, come on, come on. Back. That's right. That's right. Get him down from there. On your fucking high horse. Not for long. I have a dream. I have, uh, I have, I have a vision for what masculinity oh my God. could truly be. Oh, come on, come on. No. Oh, <laughs> God. Ladder knocked down again. Oh, but he caught him. Just in time, there's a little bit of that brotherly love seeping through. He says, you know what? We're fighting right now. We're not on the best of terms. I can't let you go down like that, We're bro. We're still brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Get up! Let's go up on your feet. Oh my god. Dad is in control once again. Says, I put you in this world, I can take you out of it. And that's, I mean, but that's potentially just the harsh reality of the situation, you know? You only have so many opportunities for for freedom, for control as a kid. That was so funny. Chosen was just doing a bunch of kicks to the legs around his dad, which is such a funny thing to imagine a kid doing to their much larger dad. Just sort of circling around them, just kicking them in the leg. Wow. Oh, man. Bunch of oh, he's strikes got him in the corner. corner. This is not... He is fucking pinned. Not, not and technically. Jake is back up. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> He's taking a second. Oh, shit. Oh, Man, is this his chance? Come on. Is. Get that ladder. Get that ladder in the middle. You got it. Oh, is he's, he's just trying to make sure. This is like he's... Wow. Cra oh, with the close-up. Crazy. <laughs> Sorry to clip your wings, bro. Oh. The joint manipulation. Oh, fuck. And he might have, in, wow, in his anger, in his oh, fervor, in the I think he knocked the, the ladder to the outside. Anime ass pose. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, right onto dad. Come on. Two for one. I, Shit. I do think that his latent power has been awoken. I think the devil gene burns inside him. He's going <laughs> to climb that ladder. Come on. Oh, but not if dad gets there first. Come on, pop, pop. And chat too is 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 waiting with bated breath to see who comes out on top. There's so much heightened They're emotion. They're leaving Dad alone in the ring. We got channel points. No, he only has one little bar left. Get in no! there, Jake. Oh, oh, I fuck. Ladder, Dad. <laughs> what? Is I think happening? Jake. I think the fix was in. I think Jake was in on it. If that is his real name, Jake. Oh, wow. Dad. You know what? It was. It was apparent from the start. Yeah. It's a fucking. Oh my god. Wow. The <laughs> Jake heel turn. Yeah. He was. Wow. Oh shit. Anonymous Skifter. Skifted 10 tier 1 subs. Thank you so much. Hey, I appreciate you. it. Oh. Hey, it's been a rough night, but I'll, I'll just say this. Finally, we're getting a couple wins for the patriarchy. <laughs> right? Oh, man, we were missing. We're... 
Feels like it's been girls' night all night. Oh my god. I... I didn't... I... Listen, I... I was setting these up in... Truly, in my heart of hearts, in my soul of souls, in my brain of brains, I had no conceivable idea of how this could have possibly gone. It has been the worst case scenario every single time. You know what? <laughs> I mean, the odds, the odds that it, each of these matches would go this morally disastrous I is know. unbelievable. It's quite literally heinous. It's foul play. There's something happening. Um, and I, I just, I feel like we need a win. I feel like chat needs a win. I don't know. We need but a dub. We, yeah, we need some kind of, here. How about, <laughs> okay, this next one. Um, hmm. I had, <laughs> I had a little <laughs> bit of debate on this next one about uh, how tasteful it was for Twitch. Oh um, but I think I think we're gonna go for it. All right, do you need um, me to read it? Yeah, yeah. This is this year's. This is yours. Huh. <laughs> okay. Now I hadn't seen this one. Yeah, this is this is a this is a newer one. I added this like a few hours ago. <clears throat> Am I the asshole for telling my BF to tell down his wall of nudes in case my mom wants to visit his place? And now, uh, interesting wrinkle I want to put on here is. It seems like Reddit has decided that there are no assholes here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It it's... has a tag on it that says "No a holes here." Are we surprised? But yeah. Well, let's let's find out. 24F dating a 25M guy who is pretty great in a lot of ways, but he definitely has his frat boy like interests in porn and nudity. <laughs> <laughs> frat boys love nudity. They love porn and nudity. He has two entire walls of I classy nudes from Playboy. So, frat boy like interests like like porn and nudity is just a hobby. You know, it's like it's it's, yeah. it's, it's the same as uh, I don't know, like playing fucking chess. Yeah, it's it, when you and your other frat bros are sitting around the fire drinking beers. You're like, hey, man, you see the new nudity? <laughs> dude, dude, put put some put some porn on TV. Oh, man, you got, I, I found this new one. You got to see it. It's going to be great. Uh, this broad takes her clothes all the way off. <laughs> uh, okay. It is hot, hot, hot. Frat boy interests in porn and nudity. He has two entire walls of class, quote, classy nudes from Playboy and various <laughs> other places uh, delightfully framed in place that he's very proud of. Not a huge fan. Honestly, not the worst. Um... The problem is that my mom is visiting me for a couple weeks, and no doubt she'll want to go... She'll want to get to know my BF and hang out with him and maybe even spend an evening grabbing dinner and something at his place. He's a great cook, and I'd love for him to cook for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is the wall of nudes. <laughs> Am I the asshole for insisting that he take them down just for a few days or if we know that my mom has plans to visit? Like, it's the first time they're meeting. This is not the impression of, of I want to convey. I don't want, want my mom to know who my boyfriend is. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's the first time they're meeting, and this is not the impression I want him to convey. He was quite reluctant when I asked him casually. Now, I want to be more forceful. Now, the question I had to ask myself is, what does she mean by more forceful? You see, yeah. this could... This could just have easily been a case where it was, you know, just like your standard. Uh, it's the girlfriend versus boyfriend match. Or even if we're getting a little crazy with it, we could do like the girlfriend versus the mother. I don't know why, though, <laughs> we would do that. But no, I it just didn't feel like enough. It didn't feel like enough. And the word forceful really just inspires me to think that the next step is not hey, take those down. You know, a real 
powerful woman would say, this is, this is my job. <laughs> hmm. Um, I like where you're going with this. I think. And my thought is, what if the next step is just going in there and taking down that wall of nudes yourself? <laughs> <laughs> God, fist what did you do, Petty? Fist of cuffs. No fucking mercy. Um, we're doing a Royal Rumble match. We have this. All right, there's girlfriend. I know that. This okay. girlfriend. Um, and uh, I guess I should. I could go ahead and and spoil that. Uh, the, her goal is to take down the wall of nudes. In a ten woman fight. <laughs> all right. Um, the rest of the fighters all uh, representing individual bricks in in the uh, proverbial wall of nudes. Um, so uh, <laughs> sorry. I just, go, go, go ahead and kick kickstart this one once you get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I uh, so let's get up. let's get predictions rolling. Um, I guess the prediction is: Will she win? Yeah. Who like it's it's. I, I have this match listed in my in my itinerary as the girlfriend versus the wall of nudes. So okay. even though it's technically a free for all, um, I'm sort of framing this like it's uh it's it's her against the world, um, and we're gonna see if she can come out on top. Now there is a chance that she could, it, like she did in one of my test matches, uh, lose halfway through the match. <laughs> um, and my thought is just really the the ultimate prize here is uh vying for the mom's attention ultimately we're gonna see who who's gonna come out on top who's gonna who's gonna really be prioritized in this uh in this new uh sort of connection between uh this mother and this boyfriend um will it be the girlfriend or will it be the uh ever distracting wall of nudes um all right <laughs> all right kickstart my heart let's go let's let's get this going <clears throat> I, uh, I i used to play the first wrestling game i ever had was wcw versus nwo on the n64 and when i was like nine how old was it? probably like 10 or 11 years old um it didn't have a character creator but you could recolor the outfits that people were wearing and change right. their names so i uh I forget which wrestler it was, but I gave him flesh-colored trunks <laughs> and renamed him Naked Man. Hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> so just genius. one of my wrestlers was just a nude guy. <laughs> Absolute. Really, really getting those those comedy <laughs> muscles warmed up early there. Also, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm officially headcanoning that uh, this story is happening. Uh, the story is being told by this silent announcer. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. Hey guys, He's so, reading the, the post right yeah, now. Yeah, so I had this game when I was a kid, maybe like ten or eleven. Uh, <laughs> call it his his trunk skip. Bye. <laughs> Get out of here. All, All right, right, here, here comes she comes. She'll be, they say she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes, but will she get to the top is the question tonight. Will she reach that peak with so She's much? a lot of nudes to, to kick out of this ring. <laughs> I, I, I just, I just, I'd like to, oh, I'm sorry, please. No, 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 you continue, please. I was going to say, I just like to envision this is, um, you know, we, we sort of see a lot of these have been sort of, let's just say, metaphorical. Um, mm -hmm. And I really just appreciate the idea that we're watching a sort of brain space representation of just this girl going in and just tearing the pictures off the wall. You know, yeah, like going to town on this guy's pornos. Enough is enough at a certain point. All right. And here comes brick number three. Oh, I forgot to okay. do the fucking order. Anyway, so there, uh, there's nine bricks in the wall of nudes. <laughs> okay. And, so she's going to remove them all. She has to take down this wall brick by brick. Um, they're out of order, I guess, but it, it is brick one through brick nine, just so you know. And uh, they um, will be distinguished by their hair color. 
One of the really otherwise they look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> one of the really interesting wrinkles in the story is that this guy's a good cook. That's really interesting. Oh, I didn't even parse that. Oh shit. He's is that cook. why I can feel the heat turning up in this match? It's getting right. hot in this kitchen. All right, 1v1. All right. So the way this works is that um, I've set it to 60 minute, inter or not 60, so oh, Jesus Christ, could you imagine? <laughs> oh, 60, <fuck> Penny. <laughs> 60 second intervals. Um, so every minute there will be uh, a new a new fighter in the ring. Uh, and a new nude. A new, yeah, a new, a new brick in the wall of nudes will be added to the ring. Um, and let's just see, oh, girlfriend not, uh, not doing a good job right off the bat. Uh, brick is really hard on the skin. Uh, it's kind of rough, so it does kind of make sense, but. Ooh, man, this is brutal so yeah. far. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Is this gonna be an instant out? Are we really just gonna be watching like, oh, a sort of intrinsic match after this where, no, it wouldn't be intrinsic. What's, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, uh, I don't know. Or gone. <laughs> sure. Oh, no, 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 oh no, God. not now, Going not this early. Already. No. Oh, no. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. No oh, fucking no, way. Yet, yet, no yet. way. Okay, okay. She's safe for now. No, 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 no. That's right. That's right, girlfriend. All right. Girlfriend Get is back still up. in this one. <laughs> Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with brick number one. Getting... Are they going to tag team her? Oh, shit. Oh, oh with the, <laughs> the headbutt. <laughs> That's Snap incredible. Suplex, takes the first brick over. Now she's finding her. She's uh, Ooh, feeling so herself. So much agility. Yep. Yeah. Wonderful. Laying in a couple kicks to those legs. Now shuffling the brick over to the ropes, trying to look for that elimination. Oh, and there's one out. That's what uh, brick number one, I think. Was that yeah, brick who number knows. one? Yeah. One or two. It, uh, one brick in the wall out. Ooh, sunset flip power bomb onto the brick number nine. Oh. Brick six? Who, who knows? One thing that I want both uh, members of the call and chat to take comfort in is that in this case, no matter who comes out on top, it is a win for women across the globe. That's thankfully. true. Thankfully. We, we finally get one. Oh, shit. We're doing a little dance. <laughs> yeah. All right, Brick eight has stepped into the ring. Makes sense, you know, being a uh, sort of a uh... oh, a little infighting among the porno ladies now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be like that. Um, for those who are not familiar with the way this works, this is like I, like I've said before. When it comes to these like multi-person uh, matches, you really can't <laughs> do anything but a free for all. So there's a lot of infighting. There's a lot of infighting in this uh, in this group of uh of uh porn photographers yeah I, I still can't get over the fact that this guy's got framed playboy art in his house but he's a good cook like what it's just like yeah like where he cooks where does the tacky begin and end <laughs> what I, I i really i wouldn't know what what does he cook probably a lot of um it's just probably just spaghetti <laughs> yeah, it's, funny. it's funny. spaghetti, maybe the odd burger every so often. Um, and then occasionally, when he gets really, really crazy, he uh, he microwaves a steak. Man, girlfriend is making her stand she, here. Yeah. European uppercut, dropping brick number nine. This really is the, the, the last straw. This is kind of... Um, this is really is just kind of like a fight for the health of their relationship in a way. She's she's sort of uh, kind of coming face to face with this glaring thing that, you know, maybe she hasn't been necessarily uncomfortable with in the past, but she's starting to recognize that maybe her priorities and her, her partner's priorities don't align in the way that you kind of need for a sustainable, healthy relationship. And uh, we're seeing that that fight kind of happened you know it's like it's either yeah. it's either the the pornography or it's 
you know my my comfort as 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 your partner and that's that's well, I mean, a that's a hard battle it, it, the difficult thing is is to ascertain whether or not it's her discomfort or her worry of her mother's judgment right because she seems right. like she's okay right so like now here's the question is is um oh does oh shit oh, sorry i got distracted by all the fucking wrestling <laughs> no, no i get <laughs> it i get it i'm right there with you all right knee to the face oh and there goes brick number whatever the fuck <laughs> not i think seven is that seven i think that was seven oh shit and oh sorry I, I remember where i was going with this is like maybe the, the true like moral conclusion to this is that this girl needs to go to her mom and say no mom i love my porno boyfriend right right yeah he loves porno and he makes good spaghetti so with that being said are we actually still rooting for girlfriends because in a way when you when you remove the scenario from this from this heightened representation you know this is in a way, an invasion of privacy. In a way, in a way, an invasion of uh, personal property. Where, uh, you know, she's she's taking this matter into her own hands in a way that maybe oversteps some boundaries. What you're saying is this is vigilante justice. In a way, yeah, yeah. Much like, <laughs> much like the Batman would. Uh, I hate <laughs> porno. <laughs> Get this shit out of here. One thing you gotta know about me is that I hate porn. <laughs> Why so prude, Batman? There we go. <laughs> got that one in there. You wanna know how I got this porno? <laughs> <laughs> Good. It's not it's not a Snapcube stream without a Joker reference. Everybody knows this. <laughs> <laughs> my dad came home and he framed the nudes <laughs> he put them up on the wall <laughs> I woke up the next day and there were viruses on my computer <laughs> how those get there Batman she used lime wire Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> oh man, girlfriend, she's still in there. She's putting up a she, great fight. She's holding her ground. She the 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 first time I, I ran the simulation, um, she did get pretty far, so you know, she's got the potential. I'm just gonna see if she can really carry it. Is that is that our last uh contestant by the way? Are we are we up? I think at... it is, yeah. Yeah, alright, so we got we got the full the full array in the ring. Let's see if girlfriend can come out on top. Thankfully, it, it isn't uh, you know a one versus nine situation where, um, you know she's at much of a disadvantage. You know she she has the the uh, the the sort of uh, the the benefit, I'll say, of all of this uh, infighting. Oh, oh no no the same it's same thing. It's it's happening all over again. But oh she comes back. Same exact way. Thank God. She's oh got that maneuver God. down to a T. Oh, Hang on, looks like oh we no, we got entrance. one more. We got one more. Never mind. Wow, it was mistaken. But but they are they're really uh, keeping uh, they're keeping things thin. They're keeping the lineup really thin, uh, yeah, which I, uh, I is really helping girlfriend's case because if she were to get overwhelmed, then that would be a much different turnout. Um, but at this pace, she maybe stands a chance. Oh, bounced off the turnbuckles, tossed into the center of the ring there. Uh, the blue and yellow bricks are going at it. Orange brick is paired off with the girlfriend here. Collar and elbow tie up into the lung blower. <laughs> I've just noticed, I've just noticed that, um, people are referring to, I believe, brick six. Uh, as just simply pronouns in chat because, of course, of the blue hair and pronouns that she must have. Yeah. No! 
Oh, 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 fuck! Whoa! There we go. That's a dub for tasteful moods. There we go. Hey, you know what? I think... I think porn needs a win. That's a, that's a dub for porn. Hell yeah. And now they just <laughs> continue to eliminate each other. It's a dub so for I guess, porn uh, and it's a dub for women no matter what, so... Who's, so I guess who, who's the asshole? Uh, I, it, in that case, it would be the girlfriend. Yeah, I think. Okay. I don't know. This one's maybe a little bit too high concept. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you I, saying there might be some like underlying flaws with this premise, Penny? I maybe lost the plot a little with this one specifically. Okay, the rest of them have been absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh God. Oh, oh, and there goes brick number brick three. Two. Brick two, Good. the winner. Congrats well, to brick two. Con congrats to brick two and congrats to, I guess, uh, this representative of the entire wall of newts. Uh, I guess we could, we could say this is a case where halfway through, before the job was done, girlfriend had a change of heart, said, you know what? I can't do this. I can't. I can't step over this line anymore. Yeah, I love him. I love him, and I love these nude women. <laughs> and you know, maybe maybe some more discoveries can keep happening from there. So, <laughs> all right. So that uh, we're we're nearing the end. Now I have one more big funny uh no you, well I, okay wait hold on let me look at this again no okay okay so there's two there's two matches left but i i want to ask um how are you feeling about doing both of them do you maybe just want to like pick one between the two and call it after Ooh. that um y yeah w would you want to put it up to a vote would you want to give the audience like a tease and a vote situation or um well no okay <laughs> no that's so okay I, I, I shouldn't have i shouldn't have asked without without checking all uh, i can <laughs> all i can all i can say is that one of them is a 1v1 and one of them is uh a 3v3 ooh I would love to see that 3v3. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. 1v1 likely won't take very long. Yeah. So do we want to see if we can fit both in? Yeah, let's go uh, Assuming it. the 1v1 doesn't take very long. All right, just just yeah. as long as you're comfortable with that, I know we're, we're, you know. But I mean, we're only two and a half hours in, so you know what, this is this is within time budget. Yes, we're um, good. So here's, so here's what I'm thinking, this, this 1v1, it uh, it's actually it's very uh, it's very heartfelt. It's uh, it's actually quite, quite important. I think that we settle this one because this is uh, this this just seems like it. I don't know. It it, it has some implications about just. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying so hard to bullshit and explanations, and it's not working. It's not I, working. Man, um, I can't wait to see what's in this. Here, uh, Pat, I'm. I th I think this is one that needs to just be settled as soon as possible. Okay, so do you, do you think you? I know um, you read the last one, but do you think you could do me a favor and read this one as well? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right, cool. Um, the formatting's a little weird because uh, uh, it's 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 it. I I guess they pasted it like from Notepad or whatever, so it's like weird. Uh, but I assume it won't be too hard to to parse. Um. Yeah, so just uh, just read this out, and then I'll I'll, I'll set up the match in the time. Okay. I twenty four F, am a Twitch streamer. I am extremely famous and pretty, and always make good decisions. And usually, my chat, infinite age, no specific gender, agrees with most of, if not all, of what I broadcast. However, things really changed when a few months ago, I did a stream for this PC pet simulation game called Wobble Dogs. The game was very cute and fun, and I had a really great time playing. The thing is, I didn't really make a lot of progress in the game. It was a relatively short stream, you see, as at the time, 
I had been frequently low on stream stamina and was just trying to make things work. So, since I couldn't cover a lot of ground, I said that I would return to the game for a second stream. Uh, as is clear to anyone who has been following me, that has not happened. And I'm struggling because at this point, I still can't see me coming back to the game in the near future. It just doesn't seem like the kind of game that would hit the spot right now. <clears throat> but believe, uh, but I believe it to be an understatement that when I say there has been a dark cloud of gloom and despair over my chat ever since the game went missing in action on my stream. Children have cried themselves to sleep every night. The bits have run dry. No one ever likes my funny tweets about niche video games I'm playing on my own time instead of streaming live. Sorry, live streaming. And I think it's because my stream chat is just overreacting so much. They've even started to blame me for things that I never did. Like helping through... Like helping 3D ch Timmy... <clears throat> They've started blaming, started to blame me for things that I never did, like helping 3D Timmy Turner steal the community pizza, or causing the mouse to leave by always scaring him with my soundboard's gun sound. I just don't think I deserve to be treated like this over something so petty. Am I really that much of an asshole for dropping wobble dogs, or are they being unreasonable? Now, this is this is a yeah tough so this one. is this is a this is a pretty like i just think i can hear the desperation in this woman's voice and i part of me is just like yeah you know she's maybe made some mistakes in the past but i mean what it, what is life if not a series of increasingly heinous mistakes live streamed to the internet that you just get to ignore eventually until they forget, you know? And I just think we all deserve a 12th chance. And I don't know. I just, it really does. I, I really personally, if you're asking me, I think not the asshole. Cause this, this, uh, this, this chat person just seems really unreasonable. I don't know. What do you, what do you think, Pat? Do you have any, uh, have any standing I mean, I, in I, this? I, uh, I don't want to come into this with any sort of bias. I, I, I just feel like streamers are always right. Right, of um, course, of course. Yeah, and I don't have any particular reason why I would feel that way. I just think in general, streamers are always right. Uh, and uh, the, the, this this Twitch chat character uh, should be put in their place. I agree, I agree. Um, so with that being said, possibly the most important match of the night, uh, <laughs> we have Penny versus chat. Uh, votes have gone live. Uh, let's see how let's see how this goes. Uh, so this is extreme rules. Uh, <laughs> anything goes, basically. Win by any means necessary is the description. So we're gonna see. Uh, well, let's let's see if this uh, this chat person can hold their ground. <laughs> and he beats chat with shovel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no, we got the COVID audience again. Fuck. Oh, and here comes Penny. Rocking out. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I Stepping outside of the bit for a second. Oh, I apologize for how self-indulgent this is. <laughs> I think this is wonderful. It's just been it's just been a long time coming, you know. We like we We've had our spats here and there, but this is this is the first time we've ever been able to I guess just like objectively see uh whether or not I'm justified for enjoying bullying so much. <laughs> Also, that's a great penny. Thank you. The hair's a little wrong, uh, but, you know, you do what you can do. It's, it's, I, I went for the general shape more than the accuracy of the bang style, because mine are more sideswept. Gotcha. Hey, you work with what you have. Also, to be fair, um, I did legitimately make, I, I did put this match together within the 45 to 50 minutes before stream started. Oh my god. <laughs> this was like a 
like 6 or like a 7.20 p.m. <laughs> conceptualization. Oh, and here comes chat. Oh, chat. Chat the looks like some sort of a Steven Universe. <laughs> I've never seen the show. Oh my god, you're fucking right. Oh no. Literally looking like a crystal gem. <laughs> the fucking glow in here. Hey, you know what? They love it, though. They love it, though. <laughs> That's actually a compliment. Got the, got the purple. Yes, actually, th this isn't the COVID audience. This is a, uh, in this case, they did not allow the audience into the building for their own safety because we're <laughs> expecting this one to be very, very violent, very bloody. Right, right, exactly, yeah. If, if Penny escapes that ring, <laughs> there's no telling what sort of heinous crime she'll commit to the fucking audience. Oh, God. Oh, oh wow, chat oh, shit. starts off with that uh, tilt-a-whirl head scissors. Airplane spin head scissors directly into the chin lock. And he slips out. I just probably don't up. think there's anything good left in the world if this streamer doesn't come out on top. Streamers need a win. Yeah. All right, belly to belly suplex from Penny to the chat. Well-deserved knee across the face. Yeah, chat, come on. This is for the pizza. What are you doing? You're slacking when and it's time to fight for the pizza? Backbreaker. And Penny stepping outside of the ring, looking for something to help her do a little more damage. And she finds a, <laughs> a, no. a kendo sword. Oh, that taunt, oh. that taunt. A little okay. shuffle from the chat. A little back a little and forth. With it. Yeah. Being a little antagonistic. Getting That's little fine, par familiar. for the course. Oh yeah, getting a little parasocial. <laughs> <laughs> Stomp across the leg, kick to the head, kick to the leg. And a series of chops across the chest and that elbow straight to the chin. Penny goes for the lariat. Chat ducks oh, under into shit. the head scissors. Chat with the pile <laughs> I was about to, I was about to cut you off before you said that. <laughs> I felt it coming. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, and a drop kick to the small of the back. God damn. We call that a posture <laughs> check. I really just checked out now. I'm like, oh fuck, hold on. I had to I'm I'm dehydrated. I don't drink water, you have to know this. Oh fuck. My uh my my fluids intake consists solely of iced coffee and uh, tea. That's <laughs> basically oh shit. Ooh. And there's those kendo strikes raining down across the abdomen. Penny Ooh, back up oh. on her feet though, answering with a striking combination. Just getting absolutely outside by the ladder. Getting visceral. This is not. This ain't your dad's chat versus streamer. <laughs> Jesus oh, no. Christ. My nose. <laughs> Literally interrupted my stupid fucking joke with that just just insanity. Just the just the the carnage of it all. There's no gore, but part of me just feels like my inside is on the outside. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, the reverse DDT on the outside. Once oh, again, no. picking up that kendo stick to rein in those blows. Missing, though. A little jab to the eyes from Penny to chat. Sends her over. Oh, into the stairs. Is she going to go Here's the risk? question, though. If I lose this match, will I have to play Wobble Dogs again? I'm starting to feel like that's the case. Ooh, that's a... that's kind of really what it all comes down to is this is this promised this promised reunion with the beast that just simply has gone unrecognized for such a long time. Chat's finally lashing out about it and wow. For good reason. Was Wobble Dogs good? Was it a good game? It's very cute. It actually it's very silly and fun. It's basically like if someone made an entire game out of the Chow Garden, but they're like little rectangular dogs that you can oh, fucking cool. mutate into just like pure insanity. 
Oh my god, once again, look at the agility of the chat. Oh, back of the head! Christ. Wow. I don't know if Penny has much of a shot here. Yeah, it's oh, starting to look like that. Draped across the apron. It's the hardest part of the ring. You, you know what it is? This isn't a, you, know, you know what? I think, listen, call me biased. I want to veto the results of this fight, because look at this. Twitch chat's wearing fucking armor. I got some jean shorts <laughs> and a denim jacket. I mean, listen, John Cena did everything that he did in jean shorts and no shirt, so you don't yeah, get Yeah, but he had invisibility season. powers. That's true. I don't have anything right. like that. Oh, now standing up, trading blows, kick to the IT band. That's going to weaken the chat's base of power there with their oh, shit. strong legs. I may, I may briefly have the upper hand, but the thing is, you know, those, those health bars really... They tell the whole oh, yeah. story. Oh, shit! They tell a tale. Oh, my God. <laughs> the fist taunt. The, <laughs> the classic bullying, like, holding the fist up in front of somebody. Penny Parker loves bullying. It's it's widely known at this point. All right. Cloverleaf locked in now. Penny's got to find some sort of way to end this match early. She does not have the health advantage. Gets a two count off that leg lock. Not a standard procedure to attempt a pin after a leg lock. Yeah, but there's nothing standard about this. This is the this is the first time that a streamer in their chat has ever had the the courage to take things to the fucking ring. We don't do things the easy way around here. <laughs> and Penny had the disarmor locked in there for just a second. Wasn't able to get the submission uh -oh. off of it. Now chat is back up on their feet. Oh. 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 Is this it? Is this it? This might be it. One. One. Two. Two. And that's a win for chat. Oh, man. It's their man. stream now. Oh, man. I guess I got to play Wobble Dogs again. Is that official? Wow. Yeah, I guess so. Is this scoop? This is, this is the scoop. I'm going back to Wobble Dogs. Uh, give me like a couple weeks to figure out where it should go in the schedule, but yeah, y'all earned it. Y'all earned it. Fine, yeah, did it. You did it for the pizza. You did it for the mouse. Really, just wow, just a, just a victory for all of Twitch, really, in a way. All right, uh, Pat, you still down to do this this last finale match? Yeah, let's go fucking crazy. All right, so uh, this is this is the big one. This is the big one. <laughs> this one might also. This one might go back to the maybe a little bit rancid vibes, depending on who who comes out on top. But I think I think now that we've given chat this this win, this should carry us until. <laughs> I I sent you this one. You yeah, sent okay. me this one, yeah, and uh, okay. I'll, I did a lot with it. We'll say. Um, all right. all right, so, uh, yeah, let me read this. Um, am I the asshole for kicking my husband out of the delivery room? Uh, I was in labor for 26 hours and was in a lot of pain as I didn't take an epidural. My husband was constantly on the phone, either playing games or talking with his bros being really loud. When I asked him to please hang up, he'd hang up the phone and then like 10 minutes later call them back. He really wanted to talk to them because his friends went on a boys trip without him because I asked to stay back so he could be here when I went into labor. They were calling to tell him about how their trip was going. Um, initial thoughts, divorce and sue him. Um, he apologized to them, blaming it on me being a nag. I was really oh. annoyed. <laughs> yeah, the, bringing out the fucking nag, okay. He apologized to them, blaming it on me being a nag. I was really annoyed and told him if he wanted to talk to his friend, he could do that elsewhere so I can be in pain in peace. He was like, all right, fine, baby. I'll just call them back later. So I had about 20 minutes of peace until his mom FaceTimed him, where he proceeded to put me in the video call. His mom makes a comment about how she remembers when she was in labor with him and that she still did herself up. She even claimed she looked so good the doctor was even flirting with her. 
I was holding back everything inside me to not say something as I didn't want to disrespect my mother-in-law, but at the same time, she sometimes just makes the stupidest comments at the worst times, and at this moment, I could not stand talking to her. A nurse <laughs> ends up coming in and could tell I was upset and asked me if everything was all right, and I tell her I just really want to be alone. She ends up kicking out my husband, and in turn, he ends up missing the birth of our firstborn daughter because he left the hospital because he was pissed off that I got the nurse to kick him out of the room. He refused to come see his daughter afterwards because he was angry at me for kicking him out. My mother-in-law, who did visit me in the hospital, wouldn't stop talking about how I'm such a bad wife for removing my husband from the room. When I got home, he kept on bringing up how I ruined a moment of bonding with his daughter and how he could never forgive me for that. Am, as if you have to ask, am I the asshole for kicking my husband out of the delivery room because he was making phone calls? Oh, this one's this one's for all the I guess all the beans. This is the this is the grand finale. Will decency and justice finally come out on top? It's really it's anyone's guess. Cuz this is a this is a 3v3. Um this is a 3v3 uh Hell in a Cell uh match. So they're gonna be they're gonna be caged up. Uh, two teams of three compete inside Hell in a Cell. Um, all right, let me set this up. Um, and if and if y'all want to get the uh, the prediction set up as I am doing this, uh, go for it. Let me because <laughs> I got I got a few here. All right, so let's see. Right, okay. I'm trying to remember who who goes where. Oh, I do remember. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. Okay. It's just, it's another one that it's just like, it's so, it's so clear. Like, so I don't even, I don't even know. Clearly, this, this lady is in the wrong. I mean, yeah. Or they, this guy. No, wait. Oh, I, I thought I thought we thought the lady was cool. I mean, sorry, the guy was cool. I'm, I, I was doing a bit. I was. Oh, doing oh, <laughs> shit. Sorry, yeah, I, sorry. I completely did not catch on. I was doing a bit. No. I'm just <laughs> distracted by setting this up. Okay, we're almost ready. Uh, fuck. Where's the? Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Almost done. All right. So here we go. We got. <laughs> yes. Yes. 3v3 yes. between the mother, the daughter, and the nurse versus Mr. Loudmouth himself and his lackeys, boy one and boy two. Boy one and boy two. <laughs> With the one and the two on the jersey. I'm so excited. A Samaritan. <laughs> <laughs> the, the one who had the courage to say, get the hell out of here. Alright, did we get did we get predictions in or did we Oh, you know what? Probably not, because it would have had to have been uh uh revealed first. Okay, cool. We got it up. Let's let's get this started. Last one of the night. Very excited. Let's go. Again, this is a uh, 3v3 Hell in a Cell. Do you want to uh, explain sort of the ins and outs of this one? Oh, Jesus Christ, it's a Hell in a Cell. Okay, uh, so Hell in a Cell is, I think, a match that was introduced in 1997, not at Hell in a Cell. Uh, it was not its own pay-per-view yet. Uh, it is famously where the Undertaker threw mankind off the top of the cage through a table. Uh, this is going to be a bunch of people fighting each other in a big cage. They might get out of the cage and climb up onto the top of the cage. Uh, the way you win is by pinfall or submission. This is a true cage. And I think match. it's only one person from the other team has to be has to go down, basically. Right. Yes. Probably single fall. From from my testing. <clears throat> All right, so here comes the Good Samaritan Nurse. 
Coming in, make sure things are sterile for the for the match. We do have a newborn in the ring, so kind of make sure things are safe. <laughs> Team Mom versus wow. the boys. Yeah, this is what an ally looks like. It seems the chat is voting in favor of Team Mom. Let's see if we can, I, I sincerely hope, really honestly hope has only steered us wrong thus far, but I sincerely hope we can come out on top just this once. Come on, just one for the road. Powers that be, RNG goddess, please. <clears throat> oh, and here comes the daughter. Oh, the baby. Big fucking baby. Oh, as a baby. That's right, we're going baby mode tonight. Imagine the baby being exposed to this much light and noise. <laughs> well, that's why her face is all fucked, like, scrunched up. <laughs> she is just constantly in distress. Oh, man. man. I, you know what? Honestly, I bet, like, as a baby, you could not distinguish this from, like, the regular trauma of birth. <laughs> from L itself, I was going to say. <laughs> you could <fucking> distinguish this <laughs> from the hits of Tartarus. From being live electrocuted. There's no difference. The, the, the sensory info. Whoa, and here she goes! Little little burst of that youthful energy. Love to see it. There's just fully a diaper in this game, huh? You can just put, put him in yeah. a diaper. Yeah! 100%. I mean... World's a rich tapestry. All right, and we're waiting for, of course, MVP of Team One. That's right, the mother, AKA Deliverer. <laughs> Coming in high energy, ready to set the fucking record straight. She just went through so much pain to get here. And you know what? She's strong and willing to go through more in order to make sure that justice is served. And we love that. We love that for women. Yeah, I love this hospital gown that you've created. I, know, I tried so hard. Please don't make fun of my little hospital <laughs> gown. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking half loincloth, half shorts. <clears throat> I tried coloring the shorts, but then it just looked really weird. All right, here comes the competition. All right. <laughs> we got boy one. Boy one. <laughs> bit of a cat in the hat situation. If cat in the hat was more of a bitch. <laughs> beefy. This is exactly the guy who's on the other end of that call. Great, well, the great way she work. described it as a boy's trip. Like, I'm so... I like, I both simultaneously do not want to know more about their situation and also desperately want to know about the details, but it's it's overall good that, you know, we, we have this distance from the situation, but like, this is the only thing I could think of when just the concept of them, like, this dude cannot stay away from his bros for more than 40 minutes to talk about the boys trip he's missing out on, to like, sit with his wife in labor. Uh, here, here comes, comes loudmouth. Here comes loudmouth. Bit, a bit of an ironic symbol on the mouth there, sort of a uh, saying, I guess, that he's he's been uh, shut up in the past, and right. now he's he's here to fight for his his freedom of vocalization again. He's, I guess, this is uh, the the stakes here are, are his uh, his freedom of expression. To get that that uh that canceled symbol off of his mouth, will cancel culture I, prevail? I, I will be silent no more. Exactly, exactly. I have a mouth, and I must use it. <laughs> I must talk to the second. boys. <laughs> yeah, <I must. laughs> 
harsh words coming from chat. Uh, Jen mm. Angst coming in with the you are a pee pee poo poo dee dee doo doo. <laughs> I don't I don't know if we can stand for that one. That's maybe crossing the line a little bit. You know, this is all in good moderated? fun. You gotta remember, it is it is moderated, but sometimes I feel like my mods are just like working against me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and one more boy to go. Boy two. Here he comes. Boy two. Filling out the trio of boys. And this whole Dr. Seuss situation. You love to see it. With the coordinated fit too. They really are in tune. They they I guess this this boys trip was uh very well organized. Same entrance too. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's because quite literally, he is a direct copy of the other custom character <laughs> <laughs> that I went in and then changed a little bit. Okay, here we All go. All right, Three let's fucking tornado go. tag in Hell in the Cell. Oh man, starting off strong. <laughs> Daughter's beating the shit out of boy number two. Oh, and the mother coming down. So, so first things first, she's trying to take down the boys. Because in a slam. way, they sort of act as like a proverbial brick wall between mm -hmm. her and her husband. They can't communicate because these boys are just so distracting. Uh, baby and doctor both heading out to the ring for a moment. Mom, having a little lay down, she, she deserves it. She's had a long, long day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, baby Irish whipping boy number two into the corner, picking up that kendo stick, going to go over there and do a little bit of work. Wow. This, this match is spilling out of the ring more than it's staying contained. This is a very, I guess, high high volatility. I, I feel like I've used that word so much, but I don't know how else to describe it. It's just, it's so, it's so, uh, you, got, you, you gotta, it's just, there's so much tension. It's just spilling over. It can't be contained in such a small surface area. Baby, oh. doing some work. Up in the corner, pairing off there with boy two. Yeah, it's, oh, it's a lot man. to track at once. The nurse Mommy might be might be the weak link of this first team. Oh. oh, we are out of the cage. God, <laughs> standing next to the announcers, even. Are we in danger? I don't know. <laughs> no, we're gonna okay. sit back down. No, I'm gonna sit back down. Yeah, we're fine. Man, Doctor getting worked over on the outside here. Uh, mom and Dad are fighting. Baby dumps to the outside. Not looking huh. good. Oh, hang on, hang on. Doctor fighting back with the European uppercut there on the outside over by us on this announce table. Yes, this baby has been thrown out with the bathwater. There, so there's just like a like a like a two v two brawl going going on on one end and then one v one on the outside. This it, it's this this is why I love this match setup. It's just the the dynamism you get from this uh, match composition. It's so Ooh. it's just intriguing. It's compelling. The uh, baby is turning this into a daddy daughter dance. <laughs> Baby carrying in chat. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, you're not wrong though. I honestly think I think you know if this if this nurse uh, doesn't get their act together, this this might spell the end of of Team Mom. Well, who's to say? Wow. Loudmouth and the boys really with the advantage right now. This is this is there concerning. you go. There we go. Oh, baby chucks daddy through the cage. <laughs> baby rage mode again. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean they 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 haven't even had a moment to establish that, you know, parental connection. It's it's like this this man is a stranger to her and it's and it's because of his own his own vices. Oh yeah. I would I would be similarly pissed. Oh, and the up the cage. the cage. Up the cage Here's he goes. The thing, though. Yes. <laughs> baby and dad <laughs> fighting on top of the cage. <laughs> Fuck yes. This could not have turned out better. If if a baby were this big 
Like, if you took a normal baby and made it this big and it still had its proportional strength, it'd be the strongest fucking thing in the world. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my god. oh and the dad is down. Wow. If wow. If you made a baby this big, it would absolutely fucking kick your ass. Uh, oh. but you can't but you can't lose focus on what's going on otherwise too because it really if there's any one weak link it could spell the end of the entire match that's true that's true baby working over the leg after that alabama slam on the top top oh oh Ooh. oh, oh Ooh, that was mom a close kicks one out it too god this is so tense oh Ooh, no fuck with it with the dodge Dad's friend is climbing the fence to help out. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. No, Hang no, on. no. Oh, Come on. Oh, oh, wait. Come no, on, this mama. is good. Come oh, on. shit. All right. All right. Oh, a doctor's coming oh. up to help out. Doctor's coming to help out. <laughs> 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 wow. This is this oh. just such a high Doctor. intensity composition here. This is this is insane. I, I truly don't know who's going to come out on top. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, baby's going, going down. Counters. Oh, could this spell the end for Team Mom? Oh! Nurse is coming back up, maybe? Oh, maybe not. Oh, jawbreaker counter from the baby to daddy. <laughs> Looking for that Alabama slam on the top of the <laughs> fence. Yep, there you go. Here's a question, though. If there's a pin happening at the top of the cage, how the hell is the ref going to get up there? So they can't count it up there. It needs to be counted in the ring. This, is, this really? has to end in the ring, I think. Yeah. Wow. So it's been, so right now, oh, the odds are with Baby's mom and special. mom versus boy, too. Oh. Backbreaker. <coughs> Not seeing a pin happening with mom just yet, but she's getting... She's getting there. She's whittling him down. Yeah, she's doing great down there. Oh, Dad oh, finds stunned. his wind, though. Setting up for the power bomb. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, baby, no! <laughs> <laughs> the baby falls through the cage into the ring. Oh, no! The One, two, three. Oh, oh fuck! Fuck! Katie, how could you? It's not me! I have just as much say as you do. I'm just as upset as you are. The doctor even had way higher stats than everybody else. I... Uh... <laughs> at the end of the day... Oh, boys, look at the end of the day. But hey, but hey, look at this symbolism. Even even in victory, the father still finds himself behind a shield, behind oppression. Mm. Maybe this isn't the end of the story. Maybe we're just seeing the end of the battle, but not the war. Wow. Um. So oh. I guess the moral of the story tonight is, uh, dudes rock. <laughs> Fuck. I cannot believe how these simulations skewed. This is insane. I listen. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to rope you into anything you haven't already agreed to, but like I feel like we got to come back for another one of these just to fucking set the record straight cuz this is like the vibes. The vibes are so, rancid. So wrong. Yeah, so bad. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, we got to we got it. We I think we got to try this again. <laughs> I think may, maybe it would also behoove us to pick some uh, "Am I the Assholes," <laughs> where uh, <laughs> where there isn't such clear evil on display. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I I thought of that truly, like, and and it, it was too late to like because like I I like I needed matches and I had already already had some of these made up already and and but i had the thought like oh man yeah so many of these have a clear like villain um <laughs> uh i got i here's the thing is i gotta start reading past the headline of am i the asshole because <laughs> I was... 
Or maybe See, maybe we should stop reading past the headline because a lot of these are just fucking funny if you just read the headline. But then as, yeah. as you each line further you go down, you're like, oh no, oh no. But 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 oh. past the headline is what gives it the story. It's it's what gives That's it that true. drama, you know. So I think what we need to do is we need to in the future we need to organize by the everyone sucks here or the no assholes here filter because i feel like that's mm. where we got the most like fun encounters like I, the dad in the steak that was that was a or that wasn't that, that was, was neither one. that was a no info or like a more info yeah. needed yeah kenny's misogynistic <laughs> computer hey listen you want to hear something funny I'm not even playing this on my computer my fucking women gamer computer this is on the playstation 5 so go talk to fucking uh jack trenton no wait he's not <laughs> go, mark, mark Cerny? is that go, the guy no well he's the he's the engineer of the playstation who's the current ceo of uh sony interactive uh, i don't know i think they're Play keeping him he's station. probably some sort of secret go guy. talk to jim ryan that that's it go go ask him why his computer is so fucking misogynistic <laughs> oh wow well okay. <laughs> At least chat got the win. Anyway, I uh, that that does it for tonight. Hey, we hit the three hour mark almost exactly. Yeah, it's pretty I was pretty good. I was a little worried beforehand, but that was a that was a healthy stream. Well, um, thank you so much, Pat, for joining me. Is there is there anything you wanna uh, you wanna go over or, or plug or anything at all before before we bounce? Uh, bu 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 bu. I got a Twitch channel where I usually stream on Wednesdays, Mondays, and Sundays. Woo. Um, and I also do videos for Polygon. I just have one came out last week about how to get into fighting games. So if you've been looking yeah. at fighting games, that was a good one. Le legitimately convinced me to uh, try Guilty Gear. Yes, that's what I want to hear. I hope you have fun. <laughs> and if you don't have fun, that's okay too. Yeah, um, uh, but definitely check that out. Yeah, it's a really well put together video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for having me on. This was super, super funny. Of course, yeah, I had a fucking great time. Thank you for uh, just agreeing to be a part of this. Thank you for being a, a wonderful co-com. Um, and yeah, I, I've, I've really appreciated it. So, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, set up a raid. I'm thinking we're going to raid my friend Mar, Markatoto, fellow uh, Clown House member. Um, and yeah, that'll be that. Uh, and then I will most likely, if I don't stream this weekend, the next time you will see me will be next Tuesday. So other, just it, if, if nothing else, tune in next Tuesday, otherwise keep an eye out, uh, and, and I'll keep y'all posted. Um, but yeah, I feel like I would love to do more of this again. I don't want to, I don't want to this is not a guarantee because I don't want to be the person who like pressures you <laughs> live on stream to do more of something. But um, I had a lot of fun. So if you're ever interested in coming back and send the record straight, then, you know, we'll be in touch. Uh, what should our raid phrase be? Pat, you want to do the oh, honors? Okay. You got any ideas? Yeah. Um, shit, I'm trying to I I ask if you can have a bit of that steak. <laughs> yeah so how about how about can i have a bite of your steak and chat if mar says no i want you to um just put crying emotes and just just cry so here so here i'm gonna spam this in chat boop cop copy one of those paste it in mar's chat when we get over there let me set this up Woo! Wow. That was, a. Uh... That was so much. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot. It, it was fun, but also, man, my, uh, my conscience is drained, I think, <laughs> trying to, my, like, the fucking gears, like, the, the gears of my internal moral compass are doing fucking, like, backflips in my head trying to figure out how to justify the way this made me feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um God. all right well uh let me think if there's is there anything else i want to go over um did we get everybody's channel points to them i think so yeah 
All right, cool. Well, hey, thank you all so much. And and also, um, I know I haven't been shouting out subs and, and donos and stuff uh, live this stream just because it's been crazy. Um, but I really cannot express how much I appreciate it. It truly, like, it helps me so much. And uh, I, I just, yeah, I, I can't express it. It does, it makes a difference. And thank you. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for coming to have fun. I've been so excited for the stream for a long time. So I'm so glad it, it turned out well. Um, and that we could all gather and have a good time together. A great turnout and everything. Either way, take care, y'all. Please be good to yourselves. Please be good to others. And, uh, just have a fucking good one. And, uh, remember that dudes rock. All right? <laughs> See ya. Proven tonight in the ring. <laughs> and...